How's it going guys? My name is Graham. Welcome to the brand new game Little Wood. It went live at like midnight this morning and I genuinely thought about streaming it last night but I I needed to sleep. I think sleep was probably the right call. I stand by that decision. Now in the menu screen here is going to be a good opportunity for people to let me know if the um, audio is fine, if the balance between the, the desktop and the game is okay. Or between me and the game, I should say. The desk, you know what I'm saying. Make sure the balances are good. This is one of those games that was uh, kickstarted asking, I can't remember the numbers, I should have looked it up. Kickstarted asking like, what's uh, maybe maybe like 10 grand or whatever, uh, I'll, make, I'll make a game. I got a good idea, I have like a bit of a prototype ready to go. Put things up, Sean Young is the developer. And then the game made like whatever the hell it was, uh, half a million dollars or something insane. I think it was, the scale was less extreme like, than that. He asked for two and raised a hundred or something. But it was like a crazy Kickstarter success story. Out now, early access. I do want to point out that it is early access still at the very bottom there. 0.741, whatever the version number. It's not 1.0, it's not the full release. This is supposedly going to be updated weekly, like continuously rolling out content, trying out new things or whatever, so that's pretty exciting. I feel like that's a good development strategy. I've seen it work for a lot of other games, especially something like this that is supposedly so heavily influenced by games like uh, Animal Crossing, maybe a bit of Stardew Valley, things like that. The general plot of the game here is that you have saved the world. It's already over, the like adventure part is over. And now you get to like help rebuild the town and like establish a community and things like that. So I, I feel like I feel like it's a funny idea for a game. I'm interested to see what it's all about. I've been looking forward to this one for a little while here. Oh, I liked I liked the the headband, the hero headband there. Wavy was pretty cool, smooth. I don't think I want smooth. <laughs> I never intend to play Roblox. Except, I don't know, maybe. I guess I can never say never. I'm just generally not interested, but like, maybe it would be funny to dick around with sometime if you get like... I think it would have to be a group thing. I don't think I would ever do it by myself. <laughs> you should play Fear and Hunger again. Also on my radar is something I definitely want to play. I have a... F I've, I kind of started a few things. I like having this big dome of a lemon on my head. I might stick with that. Should I choose a yellow skin so it just like molds together like a Homer Simpson head or something? In that case, I would go for the bald head, but I'll go with a ivory, ivory skin, I guess. That has negative connotations with elephants and stuff, so it makes me not want to choose it. Adventurer being like green link colors, I think that's funny. I like the farm hand. I do like the farm hand look. Personality, curious, kind, naughty, creative, friendly, sassy, pirate, bookworm. I don't know how pirate is a personality. I'ma be I'ma be friendly, maybe? Curious. I'm gonna be curious. Let me decide on on some of these decisions here. Uh yeah, we're going with fuzz. We're going with fuzz hair. I'm probably gonna stick with the lemon. <laughs> I just like the name of it. Whatever, that's good enough. The music and the art is nice. Uh, give it a look after it's released. I get that. I get I get not wanting to fall for the trap of like, ah, uh, the developer abandoned the game. Ooh, I guess we gotta come up with a name here. But I, I have a little bit of faith in, in this guy, Sean. He's been very committed to the game for like well over a year now at this point and still updating it regularly. And I think if you get in early, then you have a bit more say in the direction that some of the development takes. So I think that's kind of a handy thing. Lemonhead was my favorite insult when I was five. I had a dream when I was like 10 years old one time that a new Zelda game came out and it was The Legend of Zelda Lemon Butt. And I don't know why. I don't know why that was a thing. But the hook of that game was that Link walked around, like, butt-slamming things with his lemon butt. It didn't look different, it was a regular butt, I don't know what that meant. But when I saw Lemon Head here, it made me think of Zelda Lemon Butt. <laughs> so, everyone everyone seems very in support of Lemon. <laughs> I, I, wanted, I want an uppercase letter. Well, my, my first one's automatically uppercase, okay. That threw me off. I don't know what to name myself. Well, what am I saying? I might as well name myself Lemon Butt. I told, I got the whole story on there. Lemon Butt with a lemon head. It doesn't quite make sense, but 
it was never going to make sense regardless. <laughs> so I'll just stick with it as is. I don't know. I don't know if Sean Young does the music in this himself. That's a, probably something worth looking into. <laughs> now everyone's coming out in support of Lemon Butt. It's, it's coming back around with the delay in the chat. Good. I'm, I'm glad everyone was in support of that one. Wow, that's a real, like, punchy run cycle. The, the, when you have so few pixels and you want to make, like, the, you know, um, what, what would that, the perspective change of the fist getting bigger as it gets nearer the camera? Kind of hard to do with such small scale things. Lemon butt, you're awake. This is it. I'll just, I'll pretend this is the Legend of Zelda Lemon Butt. I'll live out my dream. My literal dream. It wasn't a dream in the sense that, like, I'm going to make that game someday. It was a literal dream. But now I get to live it. Lemon Butt, you're awake. I was so worried about you. You were asleep for three days. All of the towns across Solemn are finally beginning to rebuild. What? You don't remember anything. Come on, don't be silly. You, the hero of Solemn, saved the world by defeating the Dark Wizard. <laughs> like your little dance as she... That was an interpretive dance to communicate the story. <laughs> you really can't remember, huh? That means you probably don't remember the... Ooh, or do, do me and Willow have a thing? Is that what I'm not remembering? Oh, never mind. We'll get you back to normal soon. Well, first things first. We've got to rebuild this town. There's loot all over this town. There's just treasure chests... Uh, all littering the floor. That's a good sign, right? A, a town so abundant with treasure, they just leave it scattered all over the world. That's a good sign. <laughs> the sequel to Breath of the Wild is going well. That is what this is. Willow is uh, this world's Soraya. Well, first things first, we got to rebuild this town. Uh, I, I'm guessing I do that through these chests. Yes. Breath of the Lemon Butt. There we go. That's the... That's the one. Wood and brick. Oh, hello, Misty. Why don't we say hello to the cat for a moment while I read the chat for a second. <laughs> Lemon butt sounds so much like an insult. <laughs> it's the name of a hero, okay? Him and Willow don't have a thing. She tried to murder him. Oh. I'm reading into it in the opposite direction. She's against us. She's she's trying to trick us. She's going to betray us later on in the story. Dalton! What's up, buddy? Oh, so the rumors are true. It's really you! Lemon Butt, our savior from the Dark Wizard, is alive after all. What? You don't recognize me? We did so many quests together. Hmm. Maybe the Dark Wizard's magic wipes your memory. Oh, God. Well, in any case, this is cause for celebration. I've decided I'm moving into town right away. Hopefully you can remember all the funny jokes I told you on our past adventures. You're looking at this the wrong way, Dalton. If I don't remember, that's the best. You can tell all your jokes again. You don't have to remember. <laughs> you don't have to think up new things. You don't have to, like, be a creative whiz and, and, and always have the, that switch turned on. You can bust out every single old go-to joke of yours. <laughs> we need a cat cam that would be that could be useful this stupid tail just like draped over my shoulder there unlocked new house Dalton's house and also we he's, he's in love with us or at least loves what we do don't have the right tool Ooh, eventually we get to go catch bugs I probably have to follow up with Willow actually I don't know what this town's name was I'm the one who can't remember anything why can't you remember how about we give it a new name? What do you think, Lemon Butt? Uh, what is, like, a stupid version of Hyrule? I might need your guys' help with that. In the meantime, I'm gonna make sure Misty doesn't, like, chew on cords or... Nope, yep, that's immediately what she started doing. Don't chew on cords, God. Low rule. Low rule's potential. High... I could just spell it high rule like like H I G H <laughs> Lemon Butt World Butt Rule <laughs> I could just make it I could just like not commit any energy to thinking of a name at all. Just make it butt rule. 
I maybe you're a rural. I can't even low. I can't even wrap my melt around that. <laughs> Multiple people came up with low rule at the same time. Everyone. Okay, we're getting a lot of uh, support for high rule, <laughs> low rule. I mean, a few people saying butt rule. We're we're going with low rule. But high. How how could I spell it? I don't want to make it Lou rule because I'm just thinking high is like spelt differently than you would expect. I can't think of a different way to spell low. I could just do it like this. I could do it without the W because I think that would still. Now, now it's uh, fantasy RPG ified a little bit. Low rule, low rule. I'm trying to think of any way that people, anyone could possibly mistake that. It's low rule. It settles it. Hey, is that Dalton over there? <laughs> I've already dealt with that. He got my letter. Now I'll have more help when rebuilding low rule. Oh, and I almost forgot. Here's a blueprint for a house. You should build it right away. My house. Me as in you or sh <laughs> me as in me. Uh, this this might be Willow's house right here. Okay, there's several, there's several houses around town. This is the lumber mill, not a house. And probably like a, a brick making smelter. Okay. <laughs> Everyone seems like people were on board with the low rule. Low rule seems like it was the right way to go. Uh, by rule, that's pretty funny too. <laughs> that was a little a little late now, but I, I do like by rule. By rule is I like that one. It's unfortunate. Anyways, let's see what we can whip up here. Oh damn, I have full control over like like topography in this world? That's cool. It's actually it doesn't cost me money or anything to do that. This game might um, <laughs> be a level of complexity that I wasn't prepared for. I tend to... I don't know. I, I don't know if I have the full creative mind to do games that grant that sort of freedom. I'll try and make a cool, interesting town. It might not be, like, the most mind-blowing thing. I might not come up with, like, the weirdest possible versions of things but we'll see what we can do oh that was my house and that was willow's house i woke up in willow's house didn't i <laughs> either she poisoned us or there was a little something going on there uh dalton was hanging out down here should i stick his house down here as well mm, i'll stick it up with either houses we'll have like a neighborhood area i guess <laughs> you know what dalton you can you can have like a, a private Maybe I should give myself the more private. Whatever. I just gotta not overthink it the way that I clearly am. Just make a giant crater. <laughs> just... I I do kind of want to see now. Can I just... Can I literally... I'm gonna stick it... The, the, the hole in the corner of town that no one talks about. Uh, nope. You can't go down lower than that. It literally just goes down to the water table. This is, I don't know, Forgotten Pond or or Lame Lake. <laughs> it's the worst, most useless body of water you'll you'll ever see. Compliment. Ah, oh, you really mean it? Thanks, Lemon Butt. <laughs> Compliment. So easy. Who knew girls were so simple? Do you have anything else you want to talk about? You have a house now. Come visit me tomorrow. First thing in my in my house. I have a real neat idea for this town. Ah, uh, good. I'm going to need ideas. In case you didn't know, you can go to sleep early by interacting with your bed. I could have guessed. She is the Dark Lord. I think you're right. I see no reason for that to, to not be the case, you know. I guess I, guess I, uh, I... I was thinking I would have to extract any earth I wanted or needed... In or if I ever want to like build up things that it would have to come from somewhere that it's like a finite resource that like that land that soil or dirt or whatever would have to literally be picked up and moved around town to, to build things uh, I guess now and again chests just spawn I don't know if that's tied to anything my guess is that it might just kind of be like a random event now and again the way that you'll find mm. see now I need stairs the way it would be like a random event uh, gift arriving in Animal Crossing. Flooring? Dirt road? 
That's not what I need. None of that worked. Oh, oh! Elevating... No, it costs Earth. It doesn't, doesn't cost money or anything. I don't know how the hell to build a stairs. <laughs> I, I would very much like some. I have, I have no idea how else to get up there. I must have to, like, discover that. I might not have it. Oh, crap. Well, a <laughs> hundred dew drops. So, literally, I if I if I do this and then exit out of the menu, it's a teleportation to wherever that cursor was. There you go. Don't need it. Uh, magic ability. No wonder I was able to defeat the Dark Lord. Look at how talented I am. <laughs> A body of water so useless it can't even hide. It's can't even hide bodies. I screwed up your joke. I tried to paraphrase it, but I think it's funny. Oh, okay. Yeah, Jacqueline, the game just started very, very early on, like 20 minutes, but nothing's really happened. It's a very, it's a slow-paced game. Pretty much the same thing. Yes. <laughs> Uh, I wonder if there's anything at the bottom of this well. I do too. I, I very much do want to investigate. Should I just endlessly compliment Willow? I can't. Right by my house, extra building material. Hmm, so it might it might appear as like a story thing. It might not be tied to it might just not it might not randomly appear the way I thought, perhaps. I think I just I, I think I want to check on Dalton's house quickly. Just to see if there's anything there? Nothing. I wonder if he'll start furnishing his house as the as the game goes on. I think that would be pretty neat. Otherwise, I think we just have to go to bed and, and progress to the next day to allow things to happen. Having a bed would be useful, though. Willow. Willow will lend me her bed. Right? This house is perfect for a great hero like you. But it is a little empty. You should start by building a bed. <laughs> Why does she get so stoked every time she helps me? I I appreciate it. I appreciate lending a hand like that. Uh, right in no, nope, you know what? Right in the dead center. We're gonna we're gonna try some fancy feng shui in this in this place. I I I guess I should talk to her first and tell her to maybe leave or stick around. Her decision. It would be weird if I just crawled into bed without saying anything. Tomorrow we should start chopping trees and mining ores. Dalton said he could... Come on, I just beat the Dark Lord. You guys do it. <laughs> he set up something... Uh, set up some new tools in the morning. Oh, cool. I... Do you guys see how many times I leveled up Willow? Hell yeah. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. I don't know what purpose levels serve or anything I guess the higher level they get they might like um contribute more if when she reaches level 10 she might be like oh here's a shovel or like here's a, a new recipe for something you can build or like something like that you know <laughs> Willow obviously has a crush on lemon butt lemon butt has a crush on Willow who's we got we got new people showing up in town Fleshing out this world already. Dudley! Lemon butt! Is that really you? My goodness, how much you've grown! Willow sent me a letter saying that you survived the fight with the Dark Wizard. Brendan, you gotta stop spamming emojis in the chat there. I was so worried about you on your adventures. Hmm? You don't remember much? That's okay, Lemon butt. <laughs> what matters is the world is safe now because of you. Maybe this old man can lend a hand with rebuilding this town. So you want to lend a hand by making me build you a house? Sweet. Thank you. Thank you so much for your contribution. I I can't tell you how over the moon I am by uh, the back-breaking effort you chose to put in here. Do you know what? Just for that, I'm going to find a dumb place for your house. There you go. You can, you can go. I'm trying to not block a path or anything. Whatever. You can go over there. I don't know if it's dumb. I don't want the houses too spread up, spread out, in case I have to, like, run around from house to house. I don't want them to be so crazy far spread, you know? I believe NPC levels are related to how much gift you get. I think that would make sense. Unread mail. Dear Lemon Bet, you're doing a great job with rebuilding Low Rule. <laughs> when I saw it come up, I was like, Low Rule? 
Laura? I just couldn't think of how to pronounce it. I can't believe that I almost didn't understand how to say the word that we came up with. A compliment again. Oh, you mean it? Thanks. Hey there, Lemon Butt. I hope you're getting accustomed to your new home here in Low Rule. Now that you're here, we can start thinking about thinking big. I think our next step for the town is to start earning some dew drops. I don't know about you, I'm crazy rich. I don't know what they're worth. I don't know if they're literal drops of dew, because, like, I'm going to plant a bunch of grass and a bunch of plastic sheets over top of it. I'm going to collect so much dew. I'm going to be a millionaire, like, overnight. Although, do you have to keep them separate? If two dew drops touch each other and become a larger drop of dew, is that a larger value of currency, or is it just one dew drop? If you just have a bucket of water, is that one dew drop? I don't know. <laughs> I'm guessing it's not actually water. <laughs> I think our next step for this town is to start earning some dew drops. Thanks up for enforcing the emoji thing. It just it clogs up the chat a little bit. All, all over Solemn, there are many travelers and merchants looking for neat things to buy. We need to build a marketplace. It's the that very tiny little image there, like uh, how how it's shown here like it's such a small little it's weird that it shows like 90% of the buildings or like half or some 75% but I guess it's just to make the, the UI be able to fit as much as possible oh the marketplace is much bigger than I was expecting hmm I would love to put it like right there that seems like a very good spot for it maybe if I stick it down here do you know what I think I'm gonna mess around with like picking up and moving things I already built this. Yeah, okay, I want to unbuild it. <laughs> I want to, I want to like, pick it up and move it. Maybe, hmm, maybe it's not an option. If it's not an option, then I, I feel a little bit stuck. Just lower or destroy. Yes, that is what I want. I want to destroy his house and everything he has inside of it. Just burn that mother down <laughs> there's no need ah I have to actually harvest it I can't just rip it up it's like a tiny blade of grass come on can't be that difficult that's right where I feel like I want my marketplace to be hmm maybe up top <laughs> come on ah oh, there's so many damn trees and stuff this is right where I want to put this stuff <laughs> I guess... No, I can't even put it down there either. I wonder if this world was randomly generated. Or if everyone always starts with the same, like, blank slate of a, of a world. More or less. More or less blank, you know? That, that, I, that's still fine. That's a good spot. I'm still happy enough with that, you know? <laughs> do you know what to do? You can move buildings. It just... Uh, is more work than I would expect. Oh, you can't you can't move buildings. You can tear down and rebuild. I guess that like makes sense. All right, kooky old man. I told you before I was gonna stick your house somewhere kind of dumb. There you go. You get that little spot. I don't know if that's dumb or cool. Your isolated little area over here. Don't know if I should feel guilty or happy for you or what thanks for building a house for me lemon butt it is perfect i think i'll make many good memories here speaking of memories do you remember how to fish no it's the whole it's the whole thing with losing your memories is you tend to not remember things uh if you do you know what if you're looking to donate i didn't actually set up <laughs> forgot to set up stream labs <laughs> i think you can do it through youtube if you want, whatever you're comfortable with. Um, <laughs> shit, I forgot to set up the stream lab, so I'm, I'm not too worried about it. I'm just here to enjoy the game. Hopefully, hang out with you guys and all that, so you don't have to worry about it. Uh, speaking of memories, do you remember how to fish? And yes, I don't, I don't know if you get refunded uh, materials when you take things down. You do get a full refund. You get a full refund when you destroy things. I guess, I guess it's almost the equivalent of moving it. Speaking of memories, do you remember how to fish? I'll have to teach you all over again. 
it's kind of it's kind of funny. It's like the whole thing about uh, give a man a fish, he is fed for a day. Teach a man a fish, he'll never go hungry again. Unless he forgets everything, in which case you're going to have to teach him to fish twice. <laughs> Big old waste of time that first time you taught him to fish, wasn't it? You're going to regret that in the in the long term. Now, I don't I might I might have to like plop it directly on the fish. Oh, I might have scared it away. <laughs> he gave me the fishing rod and then he didn't teach me how to fish. <laughs> I should probably go talk to him again, just in case he had a follow-up there. <laughs> Maybe he was gonna teach me. Fishing requires a lot of patience. Be sure to cast your line next to a fish, not on top of it. Okay. Then you have to wait for the bite before reeling it in. Uh, do you know what? Bef uh, before I run away yet again. Man, my head really, that haircut really goes tall. It's like halfway to a Marge Simpson. Requ requires a lot of patience. Same, same general thing there all right it casts two spaces ahead so I can I can kind of plan there we go Not, okay fishing I, I got the hang of it <laughs> it doesn't really seem like I needed a particularly quick reaction time maybe better reaction times result result in bigger or more interesting fish or anything like that I where were all those other areas? Uh over here was where I wanted to be for fishing. Yeah, this is where all that good fishing is going on. Also a, a chest to collect in the meantime. Dirt! Oh good. Good. I didn't have nearly enough dirt in my pockets. One smooth rock. Can we just like can we skip that rock? I assume it has some other purpose, but it would be funny to just... It's misc B. There's two things worth of miscellaneous. I can't use it. It seems like it's meant for selling. Maybe there's some very, like, particular use or thing you can build from it. Oh, oh, I just leveled up uh, specifically, like, my fishing skill. Is that what I leveled up there? I can't seem to get close enough to that fish there. What about my stupid, uh, idiot lake or whatever? As <laughs> I called it. I just wanted to see if it had populated itself with fish. Just, like, naturally over time. I didn't see anything there. One block away from the fish to fish. <laughs> funny, funny that fish is a noun and a verb that way. But, yeah. Seems, seems not too difficult. Whoops. That was, uh mistake put that back down <laughs> I guess I should attempt to learn something about the marketplace what if I what if I sell my s smooth rock now it's feeling a little bit like um like moonlighter okay is there do I have other things that I should attempt to sell I kind of want to hang on to most of that other stuff I don't know if I think those are just decorative. I think the two particular, like, shacks don't actually matter in any way, shape, or form. Move objects out of the way to build mo- Yeah, yeah, you know, there was a- There's a crazy amount of stuff in this way. I don't know who- You guys clearly need me, I guess. Even though I feel like I'm not the world's best town builder in these short sorts of games. You guys clearly need me, because the way you built town sucks. <laughs> Once you have a belt, we should try selling some of these pesky weeds. Well, oh, okay, I, I gotta go talk to Dalton then. Because I need to receive a few tools. I gotta, I gotta remember where the heck I stuck people's houses. Dalton, my man, hook me up, dude. Hey, Lemon Butt, this is a cozy house that you built for me. Thanks a lot. Now us heroes finally get a chance to relax. Oh, I'm probably supposed to build people furnishing for their houses. I wish that he would do it himself over time. That would be neat if there was like randomly generated houses and like now and again you go and visit someone and they have like seven beds in their house or something. It'd be funny. It'd be weird. It'd be useless. It'd be funny. So I had this really cool idea for a low rule. I'm not gonna make sound effects for his chewing. Chewing is the worst sound imaginable so I'd rather not contribute to that. 
but when I woke up, I forgot it. I guess I'll just tell you all the funny jokes I've heard since we last met. Okay, okay, you ready? Two ogres walk into a shop. One says to the other, Hey, do you think they serve human here? Guess what the other one says. Does he mean they will- do they serve humans? Or is human a meat on the menu? Wait, I just remembered my idea for low rule. I want to know the ch joke. Forget about your rule. It probably sucks. Tell me the punchline. This town needs a shop. It would probably attract a lot of travelers. Each new person could help you regain your memory, too. I didn't realize that uh, regaining memories was going to, like, be a significant part of the forest. Oh, I see you, forest. Thanks for stopping by. I... I'm, I'm curious that there's maybe more story to this game than I was expecting. I thought it would be just kind of like freeform, do whatever you want. We'll see. <laughs> I Do you know what? I should stick the shop like right here, right next to the marketplace. That just, and there, there's already like a pathway thing going to it. That makes sense to me. I don't know how useful that actually is. Oh, <laughs> I, uh, the game, like, very specifically wanted me to put, like, Dalton's house here and my house here. I kind of think that would maybe be better. Do I bother? Do I move things around? Uh, <laughs> whatever. If that's, whatever. To hell with the rule book or whatever thing they wanted us to do. I'm gonna make it up as I go. Well, I'm sure we'll come up with a much better idea. This shop is perfect. Ah, uh, yeah, I stocked some neat tools. You can have them if you'd like. For free, right? You better not hose me on this. I built your house and this shop, Dalton. You kind of owe me big. Those gloves will be useful for picking fruit and planting crops. That pickaxe will break any stone or ores, and that axe can be used to chop down trees for spare wood. So much love in this room. Novice gloves, novice pickaxe, novice axe. Well, once I'm through with them, they'll be pros. Ooh, three stars. Unlock more furniture and items. I'll, I'll donate. I kind of thought that wouldn't be enough to fully level it up. Uh, oh, okay, currently under construction. So, it, like, hasn't happened yet? Maybe, maybe now I've got that ball rolling and it will keep it going? Hey Kale, how's it going? Now that my shop's open, this is your shop? You're just taking charge on it like that? I'll have to stock it with cool things every Friday. I'll have everything from basic items to fancy furniture pieces. Thanks again for your help. This will definitely attract new travelers to low rule. This has been a, a day full of accomplishments. I was curious. I'm, I'm glad I don't have to pull out items. Whenever the, the crafting genre or whatever has come so far, that switching between the necessary tools drives me absolutely crazy. So when I can just run around and grab everything I need in this way, that's, that's mostly what I want. The headband Dalton wears kind of looks like the one that the protagonist in Moonlighter wears. I was thinking it looked like it had a little bit of like a Pokeball on it. It looked a little bit like a trainer headband. But I think you're right. It might actually look closer to the Moonlighter guy. Which is funny because the whole point of Moonlighter was like owning a shop. And now all of a sudden we have a, a shop owner here with that particular headband. I probably need like a, a net. I'm, I'm guessing that I'm leveling up my skills. Like skills... Uh, mining, harvesting, forestry, things like that. Wait, maybe I already have. Oh no, these are smaller trees. These are notably smaller trees. Because I was thinking I, I could harvest those in two, whereas it had taken me three before. That's just, that's to do with tree height. I'm going to try and run out day by doing things. I'm tired, I should go to bed. <laughs> he just dropped on the ground like a sim. So I wonder if you lose... Uh, time because of that fishing merchanting gathering mining wood cutting all kinds of things were leveling up as well as leveling up individual characters there's I didn't sleep well last night I'm feeling exhausted yeah you lose like probably around a quarter of the day it looks like so that's something to, that'll definitely keep in mind 
So things like the the lakes will restock every. <laughs> you can just shake the tree; it's not ready to be harvested. Things like the lakes are gonna recharge uh, every night or or what have you. I just want to say that you're such an inspiration to all of the townsfolk. Also, do you think Bubsy is mean? I don't know if I've met Bubsy. And I don't know if I should just turn around and immediately sell the meteorite. Oh, nice. Everything's sold. Maybe it automatically does. Oh, I'm so glad I don't have to individually collect everything. A gobby traveler. What? Wakashuki. <laughs> this is the best character by far. He just gave dirt to me? What's, what's up, dude? What can I do for you? I'll, I'll just leave you to it, I guess. I'm gonna sell stupid weeds. Hmm. Okay, I can't, I can't stack them to sell them. That would be too convenient, right? That would be, that would be some, maybe too moonlightery. <laughs> we gotta separate these games a little bit so it doesn't just feel like you're playing the same thing. Wow, I really wasted today, it seems like. Does fishing? Even fishing costs time. Every Everything costs time. Oh, I like the looks of when the lights turn on in people's houses. I can hang out? I'll compliment you, Dudley. Thanks for the tip on fishing. I always knew you'd grow up to be a nice person. What did I choose? Curious. I chose curious as my trait. Hang out. Let's hang out. Temporary text. <laughs> uh, oh, crap. Okay. Not what I was expecting. Uh, what do you want to do? Just spend the day together? Go chill? Just talk to Willow, baby? Ignored her all day? Do you want to hang out as well? I'm already hanging out with someone. Okay. With the marketplace, new travelers and merchants will appear to buy your items. I recommend selling any weeds and meteorites that you find lying around. They actually sell for quite a lot of dewdrops. And that seems like a good way to end my day. I am taking Dudley home with me? Hopefully he uh, left. I you must. He, he probably just is constantly gaining levels just by walking around with me like that. It's like just a, an, a really speedy way to like gain quick and easy affection from a character, or to like build friendship strongly and easily. You could spend the night with the old man. Damn straight. Unlock new tree. Slime apple tree. <laughs> So now, so what if I went to the, like, build mo mode? I, I have, like, a limited number, right? I, I only have, like, one? Yes. But, okay, I can, I can plant it. I have, I have multiple of them. Okay, so I'm going to kind of stick it around my house here. Nope, never mind. That was the only one. But if I stick it around like that, then eventually it'll grow more fruits. And, like, it'll keep producing, presumably. Ah, this is the character that I saw that I specifically put in the thumbnail because I thought he just looked awesome. This is Bubsy. The, whoever asked me if I liked Bubsy in the one of the characters here, the answer is yes. Love him. Hello there. I was walking in the woods and stumbled upon this town. Some folks are saying that you're Lemon Butt, the hero of Solemn. Hmm. I expected, expected you to look a bit more heroic. Yeah, I'm kind of in my, like, endgame Thanos phase, you know? I'm just, like, switching it out for being a farmer. Except I'm a hero rather than a villain. I doubled the population rather than halving it. <laughs> Technically speaking, the entire game is post-game content. Yeah. <laughs> Lemon butts making the rounds. <laughs> Dudley was his first target. Such a charmer, that Lemon Butt. <laughs> I'm Buzzy, Solemn's greatest chef and fashion connoisseur. This place looks to be in desperate need of my good food and fashion sense. I'm sure my signature slime pudding or my bubbly dragon drink would satisfy your townsfolk. Bubsy's house. Hmm. If he makes slime stuff, do you know what? I'm I'm totally... I am picking up... Wait, wait, wait. Elevate move. Can I legit move? Oh, you can just straight up move things. I'm an idiot. <laughs> this was uh, incredibly easy to accomplish. <laughs> what do you know? Uh, I'm, I'm sticking, I'm sticking Bubsy up in this area. I'm gonna build him, build him a nice little 
area loaded with those trees. Specifically, specifically for him. He'll love it. And I can move in closer to Willow. Yeah? Hmm? Everyone's seeing the potential there? Thanks for building me a house, hero. Why don't you come over for a, cu for a cup of tea? That sounds, that sounds nice. You really think so? I guess I am pretty handy. <laughs> what kind of handy are we talking? You know, Dalton made a good point this morning. He says you need an official title and your own office. What do you think your title should be? Mayor. Probably, right? Maybe senior? <laughs> as soon as I said it, I felt committed to it. I don't know. I don't know why. Uh, but I'm, I'm going to be senior lemon butt. I really hope that that's how you spell it in Spanish. I felt really confident, but when it doesn't have like a little accent over it or whatever, it looks really wrong. <laughs> I should look this up. I don't want to... I don't want to botch that permanently. <laughs> Senor. Yep, sticking with it. The perfect title to be representative of, of the lemon butt. It's decided. You're officially lemon butt. Senor. No, I didn't want, I didn't want to be... Well, then I should have just been mayor. I wanted you guys to call me Senior Lemon Butt every time you saw me. If you call me Lemon Butt Senior of Low Rule, it doesn't work. <laughs> the title should be Head Evil Wizard. Could have went with that. Could have went with that. That is a nice ring to it. Now, I could have been like the Zest, the Prime Zest of Low Rule or something. Something like Lemon, Lemony. The, the Prime Tang. I don't know why I keep putting prime in front of it because if you just say that you're the zest of i could have said i was just the zest of low rule that works our new official senior is deserving of an official building a building where you can write new rules for low rule and for the townsfolk somewhere i need someone to stick my office do you know what you come hang out with me for the day willow you're you're very handy as you say i'm very happy living in my cozy home here in low rule thank you for having me thanks for the gift I did it all for the gifts. I <laughs> uh, still just keep cashing in just minnows. I guess I probably have to level up my fishing or something to start finding better things. To be able to start catching better fish. <laughs> it looked like you spelled senator wrong. <laughs> That's all I was trying to- I was trying to- I should have made myself the- like, the president. The president of low rule. Just to make it sound more impressive, make it sound like it's more of a meaningful title and not something that I literally made up and gave to myself. Which may or may not have been the case, but you know, we don't have to- we don't have to worry about that too much. This is exactly the amount of things I needed to sell. Do you remember the first time we fished together? I don't think we ever did. Oh, no. Well, maybe before I can remember, I guess. Ah, uh, that wizard really did a number on you. You were very young then. And for me, I was in my prime. I'm all about prime. <laughs> we went out on my old boat on Lake Lame Lake and fished all day. I had to cover you up with cold towels because of your sunburns. We still had a lot of fun out on the water, though. And now, because of you, folks everywhere can have days like those again. Everyone was just sitting around moping all day, not fishing, before I, I saved everything. Man, I sure was heroic, even more so than I thought. I guess I should I guess I should build that office right away and just get that that up and running. This seems like a good place for an office. Mm, I'm gonna stick it right down here. Put it, put it a little bit, a little bit separate from, from my main, my main hang. I don't know if Willow would have came anyways, or if she's coming because she's hanging out. Probably she would have came anyways. Wow, your own official office. It's very fitting of low rule senior. Damn it, I hate that. Whatever, we'll run with it. Over there is your brand new office chair and desk. Yeah, I know what desks are. I didn't forget everything, Willow. That's where you can sit and make new town wishes. That plaque on the wall is also very important. You can view Low Rule's town beauty score. 
Well, Lemon Butt, check it out. Town Beauty Appraise. Increase beauty by having more buildings and decorations. Also clean up those weeds. Ooh, look at that big jump up. Uh, it still qualifies as messy though. Uh, oh, it ranked up to cute. Barely made its way up to cute. That's, uh, I'll take it, I'll take it. Cool, you can just get a quick rundown of everything that you have. Bookshelf filled with interesting textbooks on the history of Solemn. Uh, doesn't exist. No such thing. Town wishes. Extra fish spawning. Extra bug spawning. Increased chance to catch an extra fish. And plus two fruit trees allowed. I... Hmm. I'm gonna go f with extra fruit trees, I guess. Picking that kind of on a whim. I can do two. Uh, sure. Fish spawn will go on there as well. I also saw that there was a, a donation thing here. I want to go back to the store where <laughs> all about the prime having some prime time with Willow. Yeah, we're going to watch some HBO. <laughs> I got to remember it was here I invested in, right? Oh, okay. It's it's I uh, going to ask for something different every day. So I got to remember to follow up on places where I've made donations. A a brick, a stone, Carrot, if I buy a carrot, I could probably start uh, planting blue sky wallpaper. Oh, I'm excited for the time when I can start like fully decorating my my shop and everything. This, it just came, oh wait. What is going on? Lemon butt, I found some dewdrops on the ground. Oh, that's dope. That's a big part of hanging out then. Is she just finds money for me. I like that. <laughs> So I, I can I can turn wood into wooden planks. So okay, I'll just uh, keep working away at that. It, it's adding more than I would expect, though. You know, see, it adds one, it adds three, it adds four, it five. If you like keep a chain going, then it seems to build more than I would expect. So I don't know. I also don't know how to get whatever that is, like dark wood <laughs> or uh, golden wood. That's that's what they call me. That's uh, that's my nickname around town. Is old Goldenwood. Oh my God, has that mouse been there the entire time? Oh my God, how did no one say anything? Would have driven me crazy if I was had seen it sooner. Maybe it, I would would hope it hadn't been there that long, but it it must have been because I don't remember the last time I ever had to touch the mouse remotely. All oh, right, I, I forgot that I moved uh, moved where my house is. Well, Willow, I'll see you later, unless, of course, you just want to come in and hang out. I did move my uh, house directly next to yours in a not-so-subtle move to vie for your affection. Maybe maybe she'll respond. I haven't leveled up uh, anything high enough for it to, like, tell me that, like, oh, yeah, you, you've leveled it up to the point that blank. I, nothing nothing has stood out to me in that way, you know? It hasn't told me that I, I've become an advanced anything. Thanks for building me a house. Uh, yeah, I do want to come over for tea. I, I very much would like to hang out over here. Because then we can start hang I want to hang out. I want to hang out outside of here. Because Bubsy's going to become my best friend. Obviously. <laughs> How dare chat not mention the mouse. Someone ban everyone for that offense. <laughs> Hmm, this is smaller than I'm normally used to, but I think it'll do. I wasn't prepared for Bubsy to be so hoity-toity. Living in the same town as our hero is definitely a nice perk. Well, for the rest of the day, I'll be shampooing my feathers. Perhaps tomorrow we can walk around Low Rule together. You shouldn't do that, man. You're gonna, you're gonna bring all the natural oils out of your feathers. I'll just tell him about how good his feathers are and the eyebrows. The eyebrows are indeed the best of Low Rule. Do you know much about fashion trends in Solemn? This scarf is a statement about my intellect and individuality. Well, now now I know. Now I know a bit more. Thank you for the additional information. <laughs> Everyone thought I was talking about an in-game mouse. No, unfortunately not. Not yet. Who knows? We already have a, a bird creature. Uh, I, I need to move this specifically one space 
Now I see. I thought it would be more eye-catching or whatever if it was like pushed up against a wall, but I specifically want the ability to slip past it, and it's also very useful for fishing to do that. So I guess I guess I'm moving it to where the game was insisting. You win. I've caved. I'll I'll move it, game. I won't argue that. <laughs> Bubsy already moving in, trying to gain some uh, affection. He can have it, man. He doesn't have to try hard. I, I will readily give give Bubsy my my affection. I, I should check up on the shop and see what the next thing it requests is. Plain brick. Nice. Okay, so we'll have... It's also Friday, so I thought he would have changed out his stock be some of that I think that's at least four out of five are the same it might be five or five are the same hang out let's just hang out again what are we gonna do today I'll figure it out <laughs> didn't really have anything in mind was just gonna cruise around town for a bit and talk to like the three people who are here hey lemon butt I forgot to tell you something yesterday while you were out adventuring this old man found his green thumb I grew all types of veggies on my old farm it was quite rewarding in case you wanted to try growing some crops I want to give you this. First you place tilled soil, then you place crops on top. Many types of crops. I'm sure you'll discover all of them. And some carrots. Oh wait, I, I think I... I think I had already possibly seen some of that soil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna stick... In that case, I'm gonna kind of build a little bit of uh, a farmland up here. I'll just teleport my way on up whenever I feel the need to do a bit of farming. Do I plant here? Yes. Only the six carrots. I, 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 don't, I don't have a ton of carrots. And for that reason alone, I'm going to plant them in like a bit of a pattern. Good enough. <laughs> it just seemed like the thing to do. I would feel I would feel like I, I wasn't paying close enough attention to make that catch I would way too easily all right it, it would bother me it would bother me if they were just all concentrated on one side you know pulling up weeds is one thing I do feel bad chopping down all the trees I don't know if that's ruining the overall uh, beauty of the town maybe some people think that that's not necessarily a good thing hmm I'd love to build a bridge here. I just don't know if that is an option. Yeah, I don't want to commit to just, like, building land connecting things, because I think it would be more interesting to build a bridge over it. So in the meantime, I'm just going to leave it as is. Clean up your poor house, man. I, I left it just covered in weeds. Miserable. What a miserable existence that must be. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Puppet. Thanks for dropping by. I'm glad you liked the Secrets videos. The, I also did some on Yuppie Psycho and, and the Don't Escape series, so if you like that style of content, those would be good ones to check out as well. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Lemon Butt. I know, I know. My face looks terrible. Yeah, what did you do? This morning I was trying to pick some weeds around my house. Ah, uh, I'm so sorry that I left so many weeds around your house. A big dragon wasp stung me right in the face. I'm gonna craft a bug net and I'll catch every last one of those bugs. Give it here. Give me some time. Okay. Fine. I'll be less needy and I'll more patient. I won't make you hand it over instantaneously this time. Hmm, tomorrow there's gonna be new wishes around town, so I wonder if I should wait. Can I? I can't talk to Willow like this. I can't, like, turn around. I can't pivot, face her, and, and have a chat. It's gonna be night. One of the next few things I do here. I don't, I don't really have a goal currently. I'm just trying to clean all the weeds out of town and things like that. I'm trying to make things look nice. Livable. Oh, those same same for multiple people of of that those were the the introduction introduction to the channel. That's good to hear. I'm I'm very happy, very happy to know that people 
can appreciate that type of content and still still be willing to check out stuff like that like this like this that means a lot i know it's uh you know, there's a million people doing youtube out there so it, i really do appreciate that someone would choose this channel to commit their time to it's crazy to think it's it's a, a my it's it's there aren't words for it <laughs> so i do appreciate it so much thank you guys Ooh, an acorn it was a rare item I wouldn't have thought acorns were that rare, but if you say so, then sure, I'll feel good about it. Carrots take about two days to grow. You can sell them for dewdrops or use them for cooking materials. Oh, carrot cake sure sounds good right about now. Uh, I'll probably try and like learn some cooking from Bubsy or whatever if that's his thing. I ripped up a bunch of stuff, so I want to see... Okay, that was enough to raise it. We're up to beautiful. Because there's no more weeds, but I don't really have decorations or buildings. I'll donate the dew drops simply because uh, it's the very end of the day so I can wake up first thing and kind of like follow up on that. There isn't a place to do anything like that in the marketplace. I don't know. I'll, sa I'll save the rest of my money for the morning because it'll, it'll be a new set of town wishes and I can reassess where I want to distribute those kinds of funds. Wood cutting leveled up quite a bit. Merchanting leveled up quite a bit. Bubsy's up to five. I I don't know. I have no signs of progress on any particular skills yet. I got a lot of wood. Or, uh, I got a lot of mail here, and it is containing wood. <laughs> It's the only place to find two left thumbs. That is our that is our main hook. No one look too closely at my hand though, or else everyone's gonna realize it's a regular hand and they're all gonna disappear. Nice job getting level five on woodcutting. Here's a gift. I hope you like it. I just don't know what the hell I actually do with it. Those gobbies love eating weeds, don't they? Congrats on getting level five in merchanting. Dudley. I like slime apples, but not if they're rotten. If I find rotten ones, I usually throw them at Willow. Want to try it with me sometime? Kind of, but it seems also mean. I don't know what a heroic merit is. Hmm, I'm starting to enjoy living here in Low Rule. Ah, I'm glad I invested the time in getting to know Bubsy better. Let's hang out for the day, dude. Or well, unless you have some particular task or something. I groomed my feathers. I groomed my feathers every day. Groom, groomed. This is why I look so beautiful. Good morning, Lemon Butt. I have come up with exactly what Low Rule needs. Gone are the days of your townsfolk eating plain slime apples, twigs, and rocks. <laughs> yeah, the food here has been pretty atrocious for quite a while. I'm glad to have a chef in the midst. Those, those twig soups with rock biscuits were just not doing it for me anymore. <laughs> Caught a lot of wood. Graham, 2019. What a, what a wonderful informative quote if anyone needed one takeaway from this stream <laughs> especially first thing in the morning <laughs> you're right Whew. gone to the days uh, i already read all that oh a tavern oh the tavern will be for drinking or also for food i hope i hope there's a bit of both going on there i think it looks pretty fancy I, hmm, maybe I used up too many of the good, some of the, some of the better spots with, like, people's houses and stuff. Should I, I, I might, I might shift some things around here. So, first things first. Oh, I could stick the tavern up here. That seems like a cool place for the tavern. Uh, maybe, maybe up here. I don't know. I'm winging it. <laughs> I, I might end up dramatically moving things around the more I play anyways, so is Bubsy gonna come follow up on this? Because if I, this makes him happy enough, I want to hang out for the day with him. You did a great job at this tavern. Yeah, people should compliment me more on my ability for these, like, one-day turnarounds. Or one hour. Ten minutes? Ten seconds? This will be where we create many masterpieces. I like the we aspect. My mind is racing with the possibilities. There are so many recipes to discover. You know... If you try hard enough, you could be the second best chef in all of Solom. I, of course, will always be the best chef. Let me show you how to properly cook. 
This is where you can add ingredients to mix together and discover new recipes. This is called a bubble pot. It's one of our three methods of cooking. It's pretty much the same as a regular pot. We just gave it a name so you can trademark it and sell it for more. Just interact with it to mix two of your active ingredients together. What do you think would happen if I mixed carrots and carrots together? This is the food pantry where you can see your current dishes for sale. Every day the townsfolk will eat a dish and leave behind dewdrops. Over here is your collection of discovered recipes. Once you discover a new, a new recipe, you can instantly cook it again. Well, go on, have a look around. All of that sounds cool. Each day, some of your dishes in your food pantry will turn into dewdrops. Cooking is a great way to get rich. Oh man, there's a chop board, sizzle pan, and bubble pot, all with 40 recipes. There's 120 recipes to learn in this game? Holy crap, that's more than I was expecting. My goodness. Down through Delta Ruin, kept watching for Delta Ruin? What did I just say? I think I said Ruin again. That's a habit I have never broken. <laughs> all the all the Delta Ruin content I've created, and I'll still say the name incorrectly 50% of the time, and I catch myself 50% of those times. So one quarter of the time I catch myself with incorrect sayings. It's bad, it's a bad habit. I don't know how the hell I can't break it. It's sticking around for awesome indie games, that's great. Thanks for all the hard work. Aw, thank you, Samantha, for watching. <laughs> Hope the food doesn't have any feathers in it. I don't know, man. I'm not gonna turn my... You gotta try everything right. W once, right? You gotta... You gotta be adventurous with your cooking. <laughs> Bubsy looks like a clean boy. Yeah, I, I would agree with that. That's a, a sad, sad pantry. I... Ooh. Okay. Oh, the acorn sells for a lot. But I could potentially find. S uh, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna invest. I'll, I'll invest right away. Um, next up, I want to go catch like a fish, and try and make like an apple fish meal, because I just have access to not that many things currently, so I might as well experiment. I forgot to tell you, I'm working on a new and exciting blueprint. It's not quite finished yet. Well, hit me up when it's ready to show. You've piqued my curiosity. Dudley, let's hang out for the day. I I could use a buddy. Hello, Lemon Bud, I fixed my face, can you tell? Also, I made some bug nets so we can catch all those pesky dragon wasps. Here, you can have the good one. Aw, oh, that's very nice of you. All kinds of bugs that can be appear in town. It really depends on the time of day and the season. Ah, seasonality is going to be a part of the game, too. I can see all those extra Kickstarter dollars went to good use. Does no one want to hang out today? I wanted to, like scoop up a friend to walk around with me. Dudley, you weren't my first choice. In fact, you were literally my last. A flutterfly. Traveled quite a bit since you defeated the Dark Wizard. Many towns are rebuilding and people are rejoicing that we finally have peace again. Which is kind of like a funny thing that even, even though this game isn't an online shared universe, it's kind of this idea that like everyone is independently building their own world with their own hero. Although then it makes it just seem like a million different people contributed to killing the Dark Lord, and it's not that impressive or heroic anymore. It's still heroic, but it's less impressive. Uh, but then I like that they're all returning to their individual towns, building them within the larger universe. Somehow they're all inhabited by the same people though, so we got some weird multiverse shit going on here. No one wants to hang out. I don't know what's up with that. I'm doing my best, guys. Just because I'm sudden, because I'm the senior of town, everyone thinks I'm I'm too I'm too big of a, a big boss man to hang out with the common folk. I still like having fun. I'm down to go fishing. We can pick weeds all day. We'll do whatever fun activity you want. <laughs> Those are like the only ways I spend my day. So if you want to do anything other than that, then I might not uh, I might not be interested. <laughs> But if it's either of those things, yeah, I'm down. Let's do it. We can do it together, you know? I want to save one... Oh, I picked it back up. I want to save one minnow. I'm sticking both of Flutterflies. I'll, I'll get my get rich with my acorn there. And just load up a, a bunch of weeds out of there. Definitely parallel universes. <laughs> Maybe the Dark Lord was just a big boy and needed a million heroes. That's, that's one... That's a big boy. Okay, so I got it up a level. I unlocked more furniture. Welcome to Low Rules General Shop. There are new items and furniture for sale on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Why the hell did I think it was Friday? 
I could have thought for sure that Dudley told me it was Friday, Friday, getting down on Friday. Maybe I misheard. I don't know how I could be so wrong. I'm going to do a quick teleport here because I... Walking over to this particular area is a bit of a pain. It's much faster. And I need me some tasty fish to cook with. Uh, this can, That's another fish I don't think I can actually... Do you know what? I can get to this one. <laughs> I don't know if doing little teleports like this is worth the effort. But I want to show that fish who's boss. I don't want to give it the satisfaction, you know? Anyone else excited for the new Animal Crossing? Very much so. I think that'll be a ton of fun. Probably the sort of thing that I'm going to play sporadically, irregularly, in free time. And for that reason, it's probably the sort of thing that I wouldn't play on the channel. I wouldn't say never say never or anything like that. But, yeah, it's hard to say. No, no, no. I'm trying to... I, I, I do want to to go in there. So those are my active ingredients. Then I go to this. I can't make a recipe with these ingredients. I should try other combinations. What if I use this? I need to upgrade the tavern first. Uh, so I don't have access to a lot of these things. So fish and slime apples. Oh, oh, but I can, I can just like slap in all kinds of ingredients. I, I might as well throw in the things that I have multiple of because maybe like it takes more than one for some of the things. Hmm. I don't know if it's actively trying every single ingredient I have in there or not. You know, so weeds probably aren't going to make anything good. I'll come back and try again when I have, like, carrots. Yeah, I, I'd probably just leave, leave that. Going to jog around low rule for some exercise. Well, come with me then. Let's do it together. I don't I don't have any I don't have any like cool decorations or anything, do I? <laughs> Literally nothing. Alright, I guess my house is just gonna stay as boring as can be. <laughs> well when if no one wants to hang out with me and I already picked all these weeds and everything. Actually, what the hell Aw, oh, you can't can't go beyond there. For a second I got real excited that there was like some corner of this world. That I hadn't hadn't properly explored. <laughs> Only excited for Animal Crossing if Keanu Reeves is in it. He is randomly, magically, just kind of in every game, isn't he? And I'm okay with that. In fact, I'm extra excited for it. I care more about every Keanu game than I do about every non-Keanu game. If he was in Animal Crossing, he could be the new Tom Tom Nook. Ooh. Extra dew drops found when hanging out with Bubsy. Extra bugs. More crops allowed. Do I have a limit to the amount of crops I'm allowed to plant? Chance to catch extra bugs. Hmm. I guess I'll get the bug spawn in that one. They're not that exciting of additions. I won't be able to afford anything else. Yeah, I don't know if I'm all that pumped about some of those additions, but sure. Can I can I take negatives here? It's good to go up, but I imagine if I didn't do anything and I let the weeds get, like, out of control, then that could potentially start harming the overall beauty and appeal of the town. I There's not that many bugs out. Why did I feel like I was finding bugs everywhere I walked? Yeah, nothing, nothing exciting to contribute to the conversation, eh? Well, I see one bug over here otherwise it's probably gonna be an early bedtime uh no I'm finally there it is there's a dragon wasp I am finally kind of getting close to the end of the day so maybe I do end up uh, just taking care of a lot and some few things around here I think I'd rather save my investing for now See how you can kind of like chain together crafting like that and make it make it go like crazy high really quickly like that? I'm a well, I was gonna cruise my way over to bed using like the teleportation method. Then I realized how close I am. I might as well just walk over. <laughs> Willow, level 15. We can do this song and dance all day, but sooner or later I'm gonna get you up to level 100. And then 
We will finally be together. We will be united in our love. Look at that. Look at her waiting for me right outside the door like that. Immediately I'm throwing her a compliment. Be like, great. Uh, you really mean it? Thanks, Lemon Butt. I've been working on a super secret blueprint. Not quite ready. Okay, fine. I'll give you a hint. Balloon. I want to know more. Tell me more about balloon. What an interesting sounding concept. What the hell? Um, scavenger hunt? Rare slime apple? Sweet Valentine? Farmer's Day? This is amazing. I didn't realize there was a calendar. Did I miss, miss any special days already? Maybe the first week doesn't have any... Doesn't have any... Thing. That's very exciting. I want to know more about all this. Ugh, Dalton guy smells like rotten fruit. <laughs> yeah, he does... Well, it's because he's carrying it around, so you can throw it at Willow. It's a good prank, man. If you understood if you understood the joke, you wouldn't be so mad about it. <laughs> Every morning, I take a bath in the pond so that I smell good. Still not willing to walk around. What if you watched me work out these muscles? If I chop this tree down right in front of you, would you be impressed enough to hang out with me for the day? <laughs> Is that how that works? Damn. He still doesn't seem particularly interested. I'm gonna pop on up so I can grab my carrots and hopefully, oh wait, is it gonna keep generating new ones? That would be huge, that would go a long ways. Maybe, maybe the way I planted carrots was useful. It would probably make more, oh crap, I forgot to react. Oh, a new person. It would probably make more sense to uh, plant them in rows with like a space in between. We'll see, we'll experiment with farming a little bit more but if it makes me actually walk up to every individual carrot rather than like collecting them the way something like this works then yeah I might have to rethink the approach I've been making so far I guess I guess I'm selling the bugs for now mm, I'm gonna hang on to like a fish in case I need it for cooking Ooh, the lily pads sell for for a wee bit more do they why didn't that work there we go I should pop around, do my do my daily investments. <laughs> Graham's really thirsty for Bubsy. Shh, don't let him know. <laughs> I put him in the thumbnail. I have to retroactively give his character more significance. Congrats on level five in mining. There isn't anything you can't do as long as you work hard. Dudley, fancy brick. I will accept. Level 5 in fishing, more ingredients for the tavern means more delicious recipes. A trout! I just wanted to congratulate you on hitting level 5 in crafting. Fancy plank! Oh, that must have been when I was doing like the woodworking. Low rule is really coming along. Here's a gift to help you out. Heroic merit. Right. I didn't follow up on that before. I don't know what that is. Maybe it's literally just made to be sold? I'm gonna hang on to it, because 50 bucks isn't that great, and I'd rather wait and see if there's something specific that could be done with it. How could anyone resist those eyebrows? <laughs> Aren't bugs a good source of protein? Uh, yeah. There's a lot of things that suggest that it's, like, better overall than cows. The, like, amount of uh, energy and effort you have to put into raising a farm of crickets Versus the amount... Oh, he dodged me. <laughs> versus the amount of, like, calories and protein you get out of it is, like, better than cattle. And it was really funny, because if you've seen the movie Snowpiercer, it's, like, this apocalyptic world, and the worst thing imaginable is that they all sustain themselves off bugs. And it's, like, well, it's, like, a real thing. Ah, uh, yeah, we you dig the, the fashion sense. <laughs> that reminds me, just, like, uh, a couple weeks ago... This uh, my gay buddy who works works with me was trying to introduce a scarf to his look, but it's like the summer, you know. So like you're really kind of going for it when you wear a summer scarf, and he was scared that it was too gay. <laughs> and I was like, eh, I don't know, man. I don't know if uh, I don't know if it's possible. I think you shouldn't worry about it. If you like the scarf, just go with the scarf. Laura, ooh, low key. Laura's gonna sneak in there. Willow and I are going to be this big will they won't they that goes on perpetually with no real conclusion and then I'll realize that Laura was my true love all along but it will be too late I'm already married to Bubsy <laughs> my notebook 
I just had it in my bag. How could I have misplaced it? All my precious records are in there. It's not here on the ground. Maybe I dropped it over there? Maybe I... Oh, hello. Sorry, I didn't see you there. I got lost in my thought. I get lost in my thoughts sometimes. I'm Laura. I'm a researcher of everything in Solemn. As you probably overheard, I misplaced my notebook. As you probably overheard while I was talking to myself very loudly and enunciating entirely clearly. No quiet mumbling to the ground or anything. If you see one lying around, please let me know. I'll be back later. I'm going to take one more look in the forest. Laura's got the librarian vibe. Absolutely. Absolutely, I can see that. <laughs> There's a theory that Snowpiercer's set in the same world as Willy Wonka. I have not seen that theory, but I feel like I need to look it up because that's the funniest thing I've ever heard. That's so ridiculous. Ah, oh, I just figured this out. This was stupid of me. So if I do this, pause, plus one wood, allow that to fade away, do it again, plus one wood. But if you keep doing it, it's not like it's it's not plus one wood, plus two wood, plus three wood. It's plus one, plus one, plus one, and it's just tallying it for you. So when I thought that I was crafting like a billion planks by rapidly chaining them together, that's not how it works. <laughs> At least I figured that out sooner than later. No, it's not a balloon shop. Well, it should be. I want you to rethink your strategy because I think a uh, balloon shop is a million dollar idea. Hey, we got that. We got some of these feathers. We could try and cook with them, just like you said. I remember you saying very specifically that you thought cooking with feathers would be a good idea. So, to follow up on that, <laughs> I'll have to look up the uh, the Snowpiercer video. That sounds really funny. Getting a good night's rest is very important. If you sleep in your bed, you'll have a 25 percent more energy the following day. You must treat your body well, Lemon Butt. Oh, he was real stoked to share that information. It made him feel real good to know that he told me info can't afford it oh well I want to go try and cook first but now I know tomorrow I got to work on crafting bricks or stones or whatever those are called have you been cooking a lot in the tavern no because you didn't teach me a single recipe don't go thinking you're a better chef than me now I think I need to know literally one recipe before I'm allowed to make any sort of claims like that I went to the wrong building <laughs> <laughs> I guess I should decorate other people's homes, but it's pretty low priority for me for the time being. S what if I just put like two apples in there? Does that count for anything? So if I, I... Did I say two apples? Two carrots? Whatever. A bubbly dragon. I, it's a drink? And... It took a slime apple and a carrot. Currently in stock, zero times cooked, one masterpiece is cooked. Oh, I like the idea there. I like the idea that you could occasionally cook a masterpiece version. That's like, it's a cool, cool thing. So if I, did I, I, I already tried this, didn't I? Two carrots doesn't count for anything. Uh, if I throw a minnow and a trout in there and some weeds in the lily pad, I don't know, man. Uh, stick some more carrots in there and a thing. I made a bubbly dragon. Yeah, but now that that's done, hmm, no, nothing else there works, hey? I guess, hmm. I need, like, uh, the ability to make flour or whatever if I want to make pies and stuff. That seems to be, like, uh, something I'm missing. I'm two days away from a rare slime apple. That doesn't really feel like a day. The scavenger hunt seems like a fun day, though. I'm at the bare minimum going to play the game until I can reach the scavenger hunt because it seems like something I super duper want to take part in. So that's, that's a minimum goal of mine currently is to make it to that. I think I'm going to round out the time I have today. I might, I might as well invest in this. Uh... Can I mine these? You can't. They're decorative. Those are decorative stones. Just gonna whip up some bricks. This counts as crafting as well. So it's like uh, making bricks versus making planks is not um, independent. They aren't separate skills, which is nice. It is It is quite nice that you can do them both at once. Uh, you're gonna tell me in the morning. In the morning, I'm gonna come ask you, and you're gonna have to let me know what the heck it is you're working on. I hope that blueprint is ready to show off. Oh, my cooking! I cooked two things. Got cooking up to level three. <laughs> it's hard. It's hard to keep track of everything. I wish that it would do 
that super quick version, but that uh, maybe it is an option. I'll look more closely next time to pull up like a detailed list of like what precisely uh, can be ha has been earned that time, like what level everything that was leveled up. Maybe even showing what it started as. What it was and what it went to in the span of that one day. I feel like that would be useful too. Uh, more of them smooth rocks. Also, what the heck is this? Oh, the journal. I found the journal. Laura's notebook. Whatever it is. Then a meteorite. Good, good start to the day. Lemon butt. I was up all late. I was up all last night. All late last night. Finishing up this new masterpiece. This is the most exciting blueprint yet. Also the first as far as I've seen. Mm, unless you count your like own house, I guess. I was thinking that you needed a way to travel around Solemn. There's so many people who would like to see you again. Also, there are many rare items that can be found in other areas. Oh shit, the entire game doesn't take place in this area? That was not what I was expecting. So without further ado, please take this. The air balloon platform. That's so exciting. You're beautiful and smart. No way, my hair's not pretty today. You're so nice, lemon butt. I know it, and you deserve it, babe. <laughs> awesome. Okay, I'm excited for the potential there. Uh, Dudley, I might move your house. Remember that time we found a treasure chest in the De Deer Boris Desert? A whole airship was buried under the sand. Then we got attacked by that enormous dune worm, all thanks to me. We sure had a grand adventure together, Lemon Butt. Cool. I agree, it was sweet. I hope you didn't. I hope you weren't too attached to that being the location of your house. Mm, this is better. Yeah, I'm gonna do this so I can slip behind it. There you go. That's where your house. That's where your house is now. I hope you have no objections, because uh, you're not allowed to. It's 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 been decided. It's totally set in stone. Hmm. Over here would be a better place, so I'm moving. I'm moving the tavern now next, because I I want I want an area area that's large enough. See, I don't like that because then you block the ability to go around it. I could terraform it and change it. Uh, I guess I could just do this, and if I want to be crazy anal about it, I could do that, <laughs> and build build dirt road up to it. But now I can't remove dirt road. What have I done? It's ruined. There's too wide of a road. It looks like such trash. Why did I even bother? I might as well burn down this entire town and start over again. Oh, wait. I, oh, I was wondering if there was a cool way you could, like, build the staircase into the side of something. I think it's just that it is a platform, so it is raised. Hmm. I think... I'll stick it there. That's fine. But, lemon butt, I am I am going to lower some of this down a little bit. Because I would like to be able to walk around it. I don't, I don't like trapping myself in corners or anything like that. Wow, you actually get to an adventure in an adventure game? Who would have thought? I thought maybe it was more of like a sim game. Somewhere closer to that. Whether, like, you know, toe in the line between a few things. We have Senior Apples in the comments. Now he's gonna have to. Now I have competition with Senior Lemon Butt. <laughs> we can have two Seniors in town. This would be far too difficult. Too difficult to keep track of. Willow baked some cookies the other day. She didn't give me any. She gave you some. I know where her heart lies. I guess Laura's my my new go-to then. Bubsy and Willow have betrayed me. I didn't have the heart to tell her. They were utterly tasteless. Oh, so maybe she was being nice not giving them to me. <laughs> Some people just don't have the talent we have, Lemon Butt. <laughs> You're right, let's hang out. Damn you! I don't know what level it takes for people to uh, to hang out with me. Yo, Nuke, how's it going? Ah, soar the skies with your very own lemon balloon. Promise me you'll take me on it someday. You can come on it today if you agree to follow me. No one will ever follow me. Why? Why can't I convince anyone? To go off with me like that. Hey, welcome back, Isaiah. I, I, I guess I just try and do a few quick like chore type things around town here. The carrots are uh, regrowing themselves. The cookies were poison. If that's the case, I'm glad. I didn't miss out on anything then. 
Uh, I, I didn't expect in a game like this for carrots or, you know, crops or whatever to regrow. But if that's what's going on, then I'm going to buy additional ones. Uh, do you know what? How much does this cost? Blue sky wallpaper. I might as well. I might as well gussy up my house a little bit just to see. Just to see, like, how that looks. The wall and floor. Cool. I, and I, I don't even think I used it up. I think I could potentially put that in any house. So that's neat. Senior Lemon Butt is my cousin. Ten times removed. <laughs> oh, thanks for stopping by, Samantha. Great having you. Take care. Did you know that you can turn ores into bars at the smelter? Wood can be crafted into planks. Yeah, I'm, I'm a, a, mil a million years ahead of you, Dalton. This info is old news. Thanks for trying, though. I... I'm going to try and see what other investments there are. To me, for me to like commit to. Hmm. Well, Bubsy won't hang out with me anyways, so I'm nuts to that. I'm not gonna spend money on making him a better hangout companion when he refuses to participate. I'm gonna try and like catch what I can, a few new, new units, new things. Here, I got, I got a text message. That I think I need to follow up on. Yeah, I just had to... Okay, I thought that was coming from a handyman who's fixing something broken in my apartment. Wasn't him. <laughs> Don't need to worry about it currently. Back to gameplay. Weird how that throws off your rhythm, though. I think I'm just going to sell all, like, the flutter... Fl fl flutter flies. Futter? Flutter? I'm going to sell them. <laughs> Either way. <laughs> Doesn't matter what they're called. They're out of here. You, yeah, you just want to talk about the balloon. I guess I go flying in the balloon? I felt like I had more I could do around town. Uh, I'll, I'll, grab, I'll grab me one more bug. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to talk to this weird goblin or whatever it is. Might as well immediately. Port City DeLuca. Okay, so right now I might only have... Oh, I have, I have more things to visit than I was expecting. Endless Forest first. Laura said she was going to the forest, so I, I can go take her notebook to her. Oh, whoa, there's like... Shit going on here. Did this game just get amazing? Did it just go from like passively enjoyable to like unreal? Cause I wasn't expecting anything like this. This is amazing. <laughs> Invest all my my dew drops into stocks and bonds. Maybe I need to cook more to to win Bubsy's affection or attention. It could be. Lilith! Oh, uh hey Fiona. Some witches. That was your last chance! You're off the squad! You nearly killed us all with your uncontrollable magic! And you almost zapped our whirlybugs! We could have been stranded! I'm really sorry about that, Fiona. Please, just give me one more chance! It's always been my dream to be a lightning mage! These are dangerous missions, Lilith! It's up to the lightning mages to protect and preserve the endless forest! I'm sorry, but we can't afford to risk more than we already do! Magic is not for everyone. But. This is your final. This is final. This this is your final final. You're off the squad. <laughs> Fine. I'll just leave then. It seemed excessively mean. <laughs> Are there monsters we can slaughter? Josh A immediately going the aggressive route. Oh, I'm sorry you had to see that. Lilith is a good girl. I just wanted to be mean and push her around so I could feel better about myself. She just can't control her magic. I've never seen a mage with that much destructive power. You haven't seen what I can do yet, and neither have I, because I lost all my memories. Uh, well, did you see Alora? That's funny, I just talked to you again, and eventually you are better friends? If you hear a low rumbling while in the forest, leave immediately. You don't want to run into it. I'm busy running an operation here, hero. Okay, managed to milk a lot of friendship out of that, though. Olivia! Hey there! I'm Olivia. I attend to the whirly bugs here in the endless forest. Once they drop you off in the forest, you can leave by opening up your menu. What? <laughs> I fly around with them? Or what, what can I do with these guys? Just select leave forest and your whirly bug will bring you back here if you haven't gotten eaten yet. I don't understand. Ooh, another goblin. Is it the same goblin? It's Gobby. 
Okay, wait, maybe this is a different one. Is it the same one? I thought the other one had, uh, like, glasses or a mustache or something. Lilith was cute. Why'd she have to go? She'll be back. <laughs> the, everything is either slaughter or seduction. We're either going to seduce these monsters or kill them. Boggy Woggy. Seems to be what, uh, what all goblins say. Reminds me a little bit of West of Loathing, that the goblins have a different language like that, but it's, like, kind of nonsense. Crate filled with items. I wonder what's inside. We're not going to take any. I don't want to catch this one. Ah, uh, I do. I think I do. Maybe, maybe I'm incorrect. I can contribute to the forest. Increased chances of finding fruit trees. I can, like, invest in areas? It buzzes around playfully. I don't want to invest. Or I don't want to catch. Uh, chest is sealed by magic. I need to achieve level 50 woodcutting before I can open it. And level 50 gathering before I can open it. We better go talk to, like, the, the monster, the Loch Ness that's chilling here. The mud puppy. I wonder what other strange creatures live in the endless forest. Uh, what can I do with the whirly bugs? What's their deal? No, oh my god, that's not what I was expecting at all. Uh, okay. Gathering weeds out here seems like a waste of my time. I should probably poke around here first and see what other kind of things I can find. Oh my god, guys, this game went from, like, cool to phenomenal. I'm, I'm totally uh, enraptured with what's going on here. We have a new kind of berry, meaning that there's probably, like, new kinds of things we could, uh, cook magic wood. Suddenly the purple wood is a thing. It doesn't necessarily make sense, but I at least have seen it now. <laughs> I, I don't know what it'll, it'll be good for. A floating petal. Oh my god, I'm so excited in, like, the amount of stuff there is to discover. And the fact that this game is being updated so regularly, so frequently, like, weekly updates, a lot of that's going to be uh, a Tetra, a new fish. A lot of that's probably going to be bug squashing for at least a little while, I, I would have to imagine. But, like, there's a good chance that a lot of major stuff gets added to the game over time, meaning that my likelihood to return to this for streaming goes up by that much more. Maybe I... Oh, crap. Where'd my whirly bug go? I gotta go back to bed. I don't wanna... Leave forest. That was that was the thing. Oh, but this sort of traveling probably takes time too, doesn't it? Can you take me back to low rule without me... Without it actually spending time? Or am I gonna collapse? No, I can still go to bed. Okay. Traveling does not use time. Good to know. But yeah, I would... Very much return to this game over and over... Because I want to see all the stuff that you can do. Bubsy, level 10. If level 10 isn't what it takes to to hang out, then I think he's just a snob. Okay, okay, so I didn't miss... I don't think I missed any special days previously because it does alert you like that. So that was the first alert I remember getting in any way, shape, or form. Good job, level 5 gathering. I'm not too great at bending down anymore. This back gives... Papaya tree. I misread it and then I accidentally clicked, so whatever. He probably didn't say anything that interesting. He was basically just saying I'm old and can't do things. Uh, monarch butterfly. <laughs> You're level 5 in bug catching? I'm like double that. Congrats anyways. Thanks, Dalton. You know I'm the one who buys your slime apples, right? From Dalton. Let me know if you need any cooking tips, Bubsy. Yeah, always. Ooh, ooh, Laura's here and, um, and Lilith. Oh, she, she's got all sorts of branches tangled in her hair. Oh, I couldn't find it. I climbed on trees, crawled through caves. I even fell into... I wonder if she would have always arrived this day or if she only arrived because I went and did the hot air balloon thing. Reminds me a little bit of the Grow games in a way. Oh my god, those games were the best. <laughs> that was... That was... They were cool. And I, I recently... Brendan on the channel brought those up and I added them to an ongoing list I have of series I want to do a flashlight episode on, like kind of a, a history of flash game series. And I definitely want to do one on those grow games because they were they were so much fun. This is kind of like the extrapolation of that. A little bit, to an extent, but much better <laughs> overall. Is that my notebook? You found it? All my notes and research fully recovered right here and... Oh no, it's unreadable. All the pages are soaking wet. Looks like I'm going to have to start all over. Wait, what if you help me with my research? 
I could do that. I'd do it enough in my real life as is. If we work together, we could record all our findings twice as fast. It's settled. I'm moving into your town. Oh, Laura's house. I like her teal roof. I also just noticed that we all have, like, different roofs. That they're not just... These, uh, houses aren't just pallet swaps of each other. That's cool. I dig... I dig the effort that went into that. Do you know what? If it... If it works, I want to stick it right here, I think. I'm gonna stick it up from behind because she's officially a part of this, like, I don't know, not love triangle, but kind of love triangle. <laughs> so I'm building you a house. Uh, I don't have enough materials. Oh, crap. Um, I'm building you a house that will make you a part of it. If all of our houses are so close together, it certainly won't cause any conflict. Not a problem at all. I... I forgot to look closely at what I needed. I think I needed like a minimum of five stones. So I'll whip that together real quick. But I like for sure, for sure want to build this house ASAP. Get her moved in. Get new friends. Yeah, I'm gonna do it dense, kind of a densely built series of houses, but that's fine. I'm sure everyone will get used to it, but I do also kind of have to reform things a little bit because I don't like not having the ability to access things. Shit. <laughs> well, that was a mistake. Uh, that's fine. That's fine. We'll just keep let's lower it down like that so we can walk around it. Huh. I didn't mean to remove the staircase like that. There's gotta be a way to to build a staircase, right? Because I kinda I kinda feel like I need it. It's overall gonna be quite important. I'm just I might as well just get rid of all that. Well crap. I don't know how to build stairs. I can just do this I can just do this goopy thing where I like teleport up to it, but that's you know. It's not exactly what I wanted. All right, plumberry. Uh, I'm 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 gonna just stick a bunch of random crap in here, and hopefully something will make food. The flacky yappa cake. What? Oh yeah, food. I forgot that I I cooked enough. That I cooked some things. That I had. That I have to actually go collect the food myself. So papaya and tetra makes that. Uh, anything else? A plumberry fizz, making another drink. Plumberry and minnow. I just want to make sure that I don't have extras of these things, like, sitting in the active ingredients, so I don't accidentally waste resources making two. You, you still remember some hidden things in some of them. It's funny to think, uh, how many times I probably like repeatedly returned to those games whoops ah that's fine oh wait no I I, I did build a thing so I should I should remove it I was thinking I just put down like fertile soil or whatever it's yeah it's funny to think that like I probably still remember crap the solutions to some of those games some of those grow games similarly uh, mr. snoozelberg I probably still remember the solutions to a lot of those because me and my buddies would just play those games all the time. We thought those were the funniest thing. If you never played Mr. Snoozelberg, you should look it up. They were a great time. That's another thing I would, I don't know, I would debate doing a flashlight on, but at the same time, I think that it was maybe made by a company, like, I, not necessarily, but like Cartoon Network or something. That might not be the exact example, but it was something like that. So it makes it slightly less uh, exciting or interesting because it, it wasn't like a an independent developer just like with a cool idea that they committed really hard to. But it's also an interesting example of the fact that like other people, other companies and things did dip their toes into the Flash world. It wasn't exclusively the work of a bunch of independents. There was some experimentation from, from like, studios and stuff. So maybe that's worth looking into. I caught a good fish there, and I, like, clicked pulling up as soon as it got the wiggle in the line. So I, the quality of fish you get might have to do with 
be a reaction time, but it might also just have to do with the fact that I've leveled up my fishing. Mm. I was gonna go talk to Lilith and stuff. Now I'm realizing I should be on the lookout for the rare slime apple. Dalton and I were arguing this morning about our past adventure. He was the one who woke up that emerald dragon in the Alexandrian forest, but it was me who got us out alive. I oh, still can't remember. Oh, no way, my hair is a pretty. <laughs> hey, Lemon Butt, today is a super special day. Rumor has it, if you pick a slime apple today, there's a 1% chance that you'll get a perfect slime apple. 1%? That is much worse odds than I was expecting. That is kind of, uh. Damn. <laughs> it's, uh. It makes me less interested in specifically going and seeking them out. Because it's like, ah. 1% chance, like, what are the odds I actually get lucky enough? I could go have a quick word with Dudley, then I might fly out to the forest again, because that's where I'm most likely to find slime apples. On the off chance. Special I wanted to share with you, it can help old rule if you, uh, allow... And even allow you to master new hobbies faster, but it's not quite ready yet, come talk to me first thing tomorrow. Will do, bud. I gotta remember to try and like follow up with characters as much as possible to help them progress these different ideas they have. Because I don't know if the the ideas ideas come to a standstill if I'm not there like talking to them about it. Do you know that my natural feather color is actually blue? I like to soak it in herbal tea baths to bring out the vibrant green. Do you ever take baths? I mean, no. <laughs> nah, uh, au natural. I just live that farmer life. Literally one in a hundred. I know, the odds seem frustratingly low. Like, the odds are that I actually find it. Not great. I should talk to Lilith. I should initiate talking to Lilith first and see what she wants in case it's something I should follow up on tomorrow. Hello. Hey, I saw you by the Endless Forest the day I, uh... I'm Lilith. I heard Low Rule was a growing town and I thought... Maybe I could stay here? I totally understand if you don't want me to stay, though. It's true that I can't control my magic sometimes. Really? You think I'd fit in? That's great. I heard the hero of Solemn lives here, too. I can't wait to meet our hero. I'm like the biggest fan. That's cute. I will not be able to build it currently, but I get to at least take a look at what it needs. It needs magic wood. Okay. So that's another excuse to go exploring a little bit further, actually. <laughs> Just chiming in with some boggy woggies. Uh, maybe we might we might go find the goblin again. It doesn't cost anything to do this actually, so moving around is like a good idea. Getting that exploration in. If you hear a little rumbling, leave immediately. Yeah, we've already talked about that. I don't want to waste any more time talking about it. You guys take me on out of here. I got some some apples to collect. Oh man. Go, there's a goldwood tree, potentially what looks like some form of lemon tree, a golden bell tree. Damn, I wanted them to be lemons. So many chests to, to gather up, none of them with berries. Ah, uh, good, opening chests doesn't actually use time. So that gives me the opportunity Cause, uh, yeah, I, I'm gonna keep looking for the berry. I wonder if because it's the first time a special event thing like this has ever come up. If, uh, oh wait, can I not do it again? Oh, I wasted my one time. There was no, no slime apples. Well, how the heck am I supposed to collect them then? I was thinking like, because that's what the event of the day is, Maybe there's a set additional likelihood, like that it's a guarantee for this very one time only. Seeming like maybe not necessarily the case. Oh, this would have been restocked today, so what kind of stuff do you have? Dainty table, aqua carpet, that sounds cool. Adventurer's chair, I am an adventurer. The plain wallpaper, that sounds boring as hell. Uh, I like the look of the aqua carpet overall. I'll get an adventurer's chair, sure, why not? I think I need to stop investing in shops and stuff for the time being. That seems like maybe a bit of a later game thing. And instead I need to focus more on like being able to build uh, people the homes 
favor quests and things like that. I'll be able to do a little bit of crafting here. I think I spend the rest of the time building bricks. But yeah, if, if people are in need of houses, I'm going to prioritize giving them somewhere to live, I think. Well, the rare slime apple day was a bit of a letdown. I did not accomplish really anything in that time. Oh, Willow, not quite 20. Not quite 20. Dudley up 10. Uh, merchanting up. Crafting up. There was an okay spread of things. I think it's either tomorrow or the next day is the scavenger hunt. Tomorrow. I for sure want to do that. Finally, someone has the option to hang out. Hey, Lemon Butt, do you remember when we were talking, walking through the Alexandrian forest? Willow wouldn't stop blabbering her big mouth and she woke up the Emerald Dragon. If it wasn't for her amazing sword skills, we would have been toast. Hmm. I wonder if characters, if I skip a day talking to them, if they just stay where they were and wait to have that specific com conversation, or if you kind of miss your ability, you know, miss the opportunity. I, it remains to be seen. I just wanted to congratulate you on hitting level 10 in crafting with a perfect brick. And that was Gobby Shark Cute. What came up to me this morning and gave me a fish. What a nice fellow. <laughs> That's adorable. Uh, do I have do I have like a bunch of weeds or something? I should commit to selling some of these weeds that are clogging up my inventory. I misc two. Yeah, meteorite, I can sell that. And large feather i'll sell some of that random rando stuff just a good way to make money i just kind of want to zigzag around the town a little bit and see what kind of things have changed maybe sorry sorry you don't have a place to le live yet i slept on the grass last night it wasn't my first time i would really love a house though Jeez, really putting the pressure on yikes Hey there, Lemon Butt. Before I give you this blueprint, you should try making yourself a desk. I'm sure you have a lot to keep track of, and a desk could really help you organize your goals of low rule. What if I built you a desk? Do you want a desk? Oh, would I have to, like, unlock it first? Oh, decorative. No. Hmm. How about you just give me the blueprint? <laughs> Crap. Uh, well, I guess I would have to go buy one from the store. Oh, there was a dainty table. Come on, man. I have a desk in my office. Is that not good enough? Are you gonna, gonna stonewall me over those semantics? I guess I'll buy the table in case that's what he has in mind, if that's what he's specifically thinking. What you doing up here, hanging out by your house? Thanks for building me a house, Lemon Butt. Let's go inside and check it out. Mm. <laughs> Inviting me inside so soon. With our matching colorful locks. It's real cozy in here. Thanks for letting me stay in low rule. We're gonna learn so much together. I mean, most people around town are just sleeping on floors indoors. I don't, the grass is probably more comfortable as long as you don't get like rained on. So excited to restart my research here in low rule. Tomorrow, I think I'll have a look around town. I'm interested in that as well. I do, I wanna like take part in that research. Oh, there's something here. Weeds maybe? Yeah, it's blocking my path. Couldn't even see it. But yeah, I'm kind of interested in that too. I want to know what kind of research we can do together and what kind of... What that contributes to my skills or the town or, you know, where that... Where, where I finally hang out with Bubsy and I missed it. I actually quite like that Dudley fellow. He said that my fellows, feathers have a beautiful color to them. This hat's rather fashionable, I suppose. Uh, well, whatever. Dudley and I are having a good time together. No, wait. Duncan? What the hell's your name? guy who's following me around <laughs> maybe i should get should have got to know him better before i uh made him my my number one best friend for the day carrots are a day away i think i probably want to rush off to the forest then i think that would i maybe i, I check whoops <laughs> forgot it was gonna teleport me i think i want to go check in on like willow first um see what she's got going on and then maybe are you are you permanently just gonna have that in your house the instructions laurels sure is looking great so i have some big news for you i stayed up really late last night finishing this cool new blueprint i'm gonna make low rule even more awesome town square i don't know where i'm gonna put it 
It's a perfect spot for special events. As long as it has what? Sorry. As long as it has one built, we can celebrate holidays. I want that. I want to celebrate holidays. I want cool, fun events coming through this town always. I might have to prioritize over Lilith's house. I could get away with sticking it, like, down here. I think. That doesn't seem so bad. I might need to rethink uh, my placements and stuff. Hmm. You down to spend the day just, like, crafting things, buddy? I wonder if you're, like, a more productive crafter. Or anything like that. If you have someone following you around like this. Okay. I have a mission in mind. I'm going... Ah, crap. I think I think I would prefer to build the town square first. Because I want to know... There's a scavenger hunt tomorrow. And I, I think it's going to happen regardless. But I would be scared of the possibility that it won't exist without the town hall. I doubt that's actually what's going on. Do you know what? That's probably a good... Maybe this was a good spot for the market and this is a better spot for the town square. I'll consider it. I can always move things around if I decide I don't like it. Wow, there's no rocks around town, so I legit just have to, like, pick something and and stick with it. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy... <laughs> I'm gonna buy some things to give myself a nice, quick, easy way to accelerate that. <laughs> give myself more to work with there. Yeah, Lilith, I apologize if I can't gather enough resources and... and make it back in time and, like, turn them into planks and bricks and things in time. I need seven magic wood, 16... 16 ore. The odds that I find the necessary amount of ore to build both is like zero. I'd say it's not happening. I'll make the trip, see what's available. I guess I could go with the dust cavern instead, but I think I'll come back here because I know it has at least a few things. Pretty rock. Ah, oh, it doesn't count. I'm not allowed to... Oh, I see, I see. It's specifically just here. All this stuff counts as decorative. I thought I had to level up more or something like that. No, it's just a matter of that it doesn't want me messing around with, like, the decorative things in that area. And I can respect that. So I, 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 won't, I won't be a menace in that particular way. I'll go out here and do... Do much chores in an area where no one's going to be upset that I'm, like, removing rocks. <laughs> And things like that. We got at least one magic wood. Probably not gonna be enough. There's not gonna be enough time left in the day either, so I might as well just kind of like grab a few things while I'm at it. A light fairy, that's new. Oh, there's another magic wood. So that's. I think eight magic wood is enough to have enough magic wood. Not gonna have enough time to turn it into all the planks I need and everything. Where does that leave me? I have enough resources to build something. I just have to decide what that is. And whether or not I have enough time to do it. <laughs> town Square? Prioritizing Town Square, I think. Sorry, Lilith. Sorry to do this to you. Six brick, seven wood. That's a lot. That is going to eat up my time quite quickly, I think. Oh, I got a bonus item on that one. Wait, so does that mean I, I have enough planks? Where's all my planks at? Nice. That was a bit of a fluke. Ah, uh, it's borderline... I basically need a bonus item for this. No! I'm gonna be one shy. Ah! I got robbed. That's a bummer. I didn't get to build anything then. I guess, I guess I just crawl into bed then and hope that it still counts as being an event day tomorrow. 
That was good hanging out with you, Dalton. Felt nice to level all that up. Ooh, my fishing's almost level 10. I had to be like level 50 to open up those chests in the in the forested area, so I'm so I'm so far away from that. Scavenger hunt? We doing the scavenger hunt, man? Hey! I know you're super busy with rebuilding Laurel and all. Low rule. <laughs> Do you think you could build me some cool new furniture? I made a, this blueprint for a desk. Yeah, so I think you do have to keep following up with characters because they'll present certain things in a certain order. So I have to build a desk so I can build it so Dalton or uh, Dudley gives me his thing. Ah, I'll write down all my cool ideas. All right, uh, I guess it'll cost probably the tiniest bit of resources, but I want it to adven advance. Oh, hello, Misty. Welcome back. Turns out it costs very little to build that, so sure, I'll build it. Can I interact with it, actually? Oh, crap, I can. What is all this? What did I do? A hundred dewdrops. A special chest spawned somewhere in low rule. I So I just have personal goals to go through all the time? Catch... Wow. Okay. That's cool. Uh, neat. I didn't expect the desk to contribute anything other than being decorative. Stupid tail. Level 10 of wood cutting, damn! Jokes, keep uh, keep starting his jokes but forgetting the punchline. I think he's losing his memory too. From Willow, I tried fishing this morning but nothing was biting him. Throwing my bobber right on top of him. Dalton, you're a fool. <laughs> yeah, Misty climbed on back in. What an attention seeker she is. Oh, poor Lilith hanging out there waiting patiently for a house. It's annoying gobbies keep bothering me. Can't they tell I have better things to do than make weird noises all day? Poggy this, woggy that. What do those words even mean anyways? Uh, very kind. Perhaps I'll com compliment you one day. <laughs> I can only hope. I, I wait with bated breath for you to let me know how much I mean to you. Don't hide back there. Maybe I should move your house. Slime apples are plump and juicy. Well, peach shots are tangy and tart. Oh, hey. I was just writing down some new research on the fruits of Solemn. Oh, how do I help? How do I contribute? Why are plum berries blue? Ah, there's a special chest over there. Whoops, I immediately realized I, I did that incorrectly. Is this... I think I, I think I have to put that down. There we go. It was blocking, blocking my access here. Oh, okay. It wasn't that exciting of a special chest. What about the scavenger hunt, though? Uh, do I have to build the town hall first? I don't know. I should probably, probably get to that. Okay, are you ready? Here's my blueprint that I've been working on. Coffee shop. That sounds nice. It's going to be popular now that we have a coffee shop. A warm coffee and a donut is the perfect start to any morning. I might have to start really majorly changing up the town then if I'm gonna if I'm gonna make room for some of these new additions here. I'm slotting the marketplace down here. I guess I'm not. <laughs> In that case, I guess. Uh, what did? What, how close was I to the town hall? One of each thing at this point after I built that desk. So close. I should probably go see what the dusty cavern is all about, too. And expand my adventuring. And see what kind of fun things lie in wait. Maybe I should have just crafted all of those at once. I don't know. We'll have plenty of time to worry about things like that in the future. Town Square. Oh, it's slightly smaller, so I can actually slot this in here. It's, that's just the tiniest bit of wiggle room of where I can actually stick it. This content is not available yet, coming soon. Oh, well then. Crate filled with items, I wonder what's inside. I guess I shouldn't have invested so hard in building the town square. But I'll, I'll try to keep a close eye on the updates that, of like, what's being added to this game. Because somewhere down the line, that could or will, like, will just become a thing. One day I'll, like, 
log into the save file and there just will be a town square there, which is kind of funny. It's funny that that was an idea for a relatively early game thing, but that it wasn't actually put into the game yet. I imagine there's a lot to juggle producing this game and, and adding more content to it on a regular basis. Uh, I guess catch an extra bug. I know I don't I, I don't want to spend on that one just yet. What else? What else do I want to do with my day? How do I how do I initiate the scavenger hunt? Willow, where are you at? What are you doing? What are you what are you doing for the day? How do we how do we hang out and make the scavenger hunt happen? Because this is like the number one thing I'm interested in currently. Maybe there should be an option for literally just move or teleport for that menu. So I don't act like moving yourself, so I don't accidentally keep doing that. <laughs> Building a random stupid little one one height pedestal thing that I have to immediately just tear down again. I'll just try to be smarter about it. I don't know if I've seen other characters appear in areas like the tavern or whatever. They don't seem to be doing it. Poor Willow, if you don't build someone a house, will they leave? Good question. I don't know. Oh, chewing on cords again. Get out of here, Misty. Made to sleep on grass extra nights for a non-functional town square. Yeah, it does seem a little unfair, doesn't it? Oh, I gotta, I gotta kick Misty out of the room. She's chewing on these headphones. It's your own damn fault, kitty. I'd love to keep you around indefinitely to keep keep us all company, but she's gonna be destructive like that. I can't really can't really let her stay. <laughs> Just a quick teleport, like one space. Ah, uh, it wasn't my first time. Would really love a house. I would love to get you one too. I think I need to go in search of more stone. Oh, I have enough magic. Wood. Okay. Well, then let's go to the dust cavern. Because that seems like it's more likely to be filled with rocks. Cool. Okay, there's a lot of stuff going on here. There's like an entire marketplace here. Is this... Can I access it? I cannot. Is that a glitch in some way that that's there at all? Um, that's very strange. A toad? Oh. Okay, that character design is much cooler than I was expecting it to be, honestly. <laughs> Hello there, I'm Master Miner Toad, or as some people like to call me, The Toad. Be careful in the dust caverns. You don't want to get whomped. I'll try my best not to. Who's who's gonna let me out into the mines? Looks like here I I just kinda I just kinda wander off. Uh we'll we'll invest the money just so that whenever I have enough other resources to feel like hey I should I should invest deeply into something then I've already done the money step Ooh, you like the music in this section that's good ash hey you there could you lend me a hand these wampers are trying to eat me that's how you get whomped man I drop my whistle over there grab it and blow it is this it nope uh, where Where's this guy's whistle? There's something broken going on with the um, <laughs> with the marketplace here. I feel like it accidentally, it's sprite accidentally gets, got swapped for a different, oh, there it is, for like the wrong thing. So now it's showing up in places it shouldn't. Oh, that was a close one. Thanks a lot for helping me out there. The name's Ash. I'm a dust miner. Huh? Lemon butt? Isn't that the name of the hero of Psalm? Whoa. You're the hero? Right on. It's an honor to meet you, Lemon Butt. I'll have to be more careful down here from now on. I can't keep counting on being saved by a hero. Say, I've got to repay you somehow for helping me out. You live in Low Rule, right? Everyone's always talking about that place. I'll come visit sometime. I'll bring you a nice present. Okay, but don't expect a house anytime soon, man. I got I've got a backlog building up here. I can't just build every Tom, Dick, and Jane uh a house the second they ask me for one. And these things take time. Well, that's a speedy way to earn earn these sorts of things. Um, 
What the hell is going on with the scavenger hunt? That just never happened, did it? I, I might have, I might have like missed it in some way. That might have been because I was busy doing other things. Can't mine that, so I'll try and mine Magisite and catch a weird cave bug. Ooh, dark matter. <laughs> oh crap! I didn't realize I had maxed out my time. I knew I was getting close. Whoops! Passed out down in the caverns. Well, hopefully, hopefully Ash there like dragged me out to safety or something. Oh crap, I legit wake up here. Um Well yeah, maybe maybe you wanna take me on out? I should follow up with Toad and just see what his deal is. Have you come across your first Womper yet? Wompers are aggressive creatures that will bite your head off. Why do you think I wear a helmet? Hmm? I once saw a guy get eaten whole by a Womper. That sounds very traumatic. That is mortifying to think that that's something you've I have bared witness to. I like this little dance. I don't know what he's doing, but it's he's doing like this just repeatedly. And he's just aggressively waving with both hands. That could be all that it is. Wait a second. Did I? Can I go to these places? Oh, I can't travel here yet. I was like, holy shit. Can I just like gamble on it and and I'll just discover whatever it is when I get there? Not quite. Not quite the case. The town's getting a little busy, isn't it? Hey, Lemon Butt, I decided to stop by and check out Low Rule. The stories are true. This really is a beautiful town. I don't think townsfolk will ever leave. I think they stick around regardless of if they have a house. Probably just their, like, story contributions halt without one. This really is a beautiful town. Ah, oh, before I forget, here's that present for you for saving me back in the caverns. The silver gloves. Okay, I'd like to know what uh, they do. 10% chance to not consume energy when harvesting fruit or crop. Okay, awesome. That's a pretty, it's solid. Thank you for that. Thanks for the compliment. I found those gloves deep within the caverns. Someone must have dropped them. Did you know that better tools have a higher chance of yielding bonus materials? Rumor has it that there are even golden tools. Wish I had a golden pickaxe to go along with our golden wood. This morning I had an amazing idea. You see, I've been writing all my findings in my small notebook. It's just words. Words are boring. If I want to share my research with the people of Solom, I need some eye-catching. Get your tools ready, Lemon Butt. We're going to uh, build the greatest museum in all of Solom. I kind of misread that. Anyway, she wants to collect legit samples of things. Its museum could have everything from fruits and veggies to bugs and fish. But which rooms would we put the miscellaneous items? <laughs> just a misc room? It does sound kind of less exciting if you literally were to call it something like that. Elfwood paper. Ooh, I like the sounds of that. Sold. And a dresser. Not that exciting. Plain table. Grand oak chair. Plain. Plain Jane boring stuff. Willow. Oh, Willow wants to hang out. Dudley was telling me about your first fishing trip. He said he fell into the water because you were afraid of fish. Hard to tell that that hero was de uh, is that that's the hero who defeated the, the Dark Lord. Whatever, come hang out with me. <laughs> While I proceed to stumble over all of my words. I need to expand this marketplace a little bit. Foggy Woggy, he gave me some dirt. Did you get a chance to build a desk for some of the townsfolk? Some may want to live on higher elevations or choose... Clo or close to certain structures in the rule. Try interacting with desks in different houses to see people's current requests. Interesting. That does sound cool. It's such a relaxing town. Everyone here is nice. I can catch all the bugs I want. Hanging out with you again is also like the coolest thing ever. That's nice. I'm glad everyone is so, is so stoked to spend time with me. Okay. I can go build up all that I need here and then I think I'm legit going to wait a second does it cost two per crap <laughs> how did I not know that uh, well yet again no desks sorry for that uh, I, I n no house did I say no desk no house but uh Willow, you get a desk, because I want to know, I want to know what you want, what you like, what you need. Tell me, tell me your desires so I can 
work to meet them. Uh, I don't I don't have what it takes. <laughs> I hope you love love what I did with the place. Hello, I have an important question for you. Which townsfolk do you find the most beautiful? Uh, I'm between a rock and a hard place here. Literally, between the most beautiful people in all the town. I'll let you think about your answer carefully. <laughs> well, you just gave me a lot of affection. Willow is back there finding me dewdrops, so both have their pros. <laughs> Makes it super easy to throw slime apples at Willow. That's just how I flirt. I hope she uh, is not is not hurt hurt by it. That she doesn't take it personally or think that I'm trying to be offensive. I just don't know how to show my emotions no good. Since you're the hero, your first purchase at the coffee shop is free every day. Don't forget to start your mornings right by stopping by. Huh, I guess I would have to build it first. I'm still prioritizing that house though, so I uh, just kind of want to see what it takes. Oh yeah, and the museum. 10 and 10. 10 and 10. Such high demands. Well, I guess the scavenger hunt didn't happen. I don't really know how I could have initiated it. I may have I may have missed missed whatever that opportunity is or it's not in the game yet properly or like any number of things. I'll may have to look into that further off camera, you know. Try and learn a little bit. I'm super excited to make the museum the best it can be. You're my hero. Nice job, level 10 in fishing. I'm working on my form so I can cast my line out further. Got a trout. I don't know if further is necessary. I seem to get along quite well without further. Wait, it meant coming soon, not as that the, it, the content isn't in the game yet. It's just that it wasn't built in a day. Okay, Poggy Woggy, got a carrot. Poggy Woggy, got some dew drops. Okay, they only give like one thing per day. Did you know that you can spark a romance with any of the townsfolk? Yes. I didn't know that, but I'm very excited about it. You're the hero of Solemn, after all. Who wouldn't want to fluff your feathers? Oh, I'm surprisingly single, but I'm ready to mingle. Oh, you get a compliment for sure. Compliment you all day, every day. Your stand's lemon butt. <laughs> Doesn't look like my hair. Our curious hero, curious, which I picked at the beginning, who always wants to explore and learn new things. Cool water playfully splashes about. What a nice fountain. So does that mean that like event days can happen now? I gotta go follow up on the cool, cool adventurer goblin chilling out in the corner there. I'm days away from anything, but Valentine's Day. Oh, uh, hey, this is the time of day when I eat slime apples. You can have one if you want. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> I don't, I see no need to follow up on that in any way, shape, or form. Just, just selling off junk. Maybe want to hang on to like one of things for when that museum gets off the ground. Hmm. I, I'm gonna hang on to those for now. They don't sell for enough for it to seem overly worth it for the time being. The light fairy counts as miscellaneous, hey? That, didn't expect that, honestly. Uh, and I'll sell one more minnow. You guys will probably have freebies to hand out, right? Plum berry, multiple plum berries. And the gobby traveler, that was the guy. He gave me the traveler wallpaper. Glad I followed up with him. Seems like he's a very generous, generous Wagi. <laughs> I presume that's how him and his people prefer to be referred to as. Oh, I should go to Lame Lake. See what's going on up over there. See if any sort of, uh, I'm glad I don't have to feed myself. That's a feature that I just like don't need in this game. Not in this one at the very least, not now. Probably never. <laughs> it's just too much of an extra thing to have to think about, you know? Alright, what? 
I know that slime, apple, and carrots, plumberry, and minnow, papaya, and tetra. So much guesswork. Uh, I guess I'll I guess I'll put in like one of each of these and see if a mixture of berries. Crap! I've already done this. Die! Ah, I should have known that was gonna happen. All right. I wish that you could somehow, in some way, like when you're doing this experimenting or whatever, that you could skip the possibility of kind of cornering yourself like that and making something that you've already already made that would give you some sort of workaround. Nothing there. All right, pulling it all out. That's enough cooking attempting. I need I need to go back to the to the mines cuz I need to go and get more ore, more rock. And I finally build Lilith that house, then we can worry about ash one at a time, you know? That's that's literally my market. There's something glitchy going on there. It's, it's a pretty minor bug. Pretty goofy. People call me Toad, but sometimes I feel more like Frog. Wibbit woogity woo. Sure, dude. We're, like, growing a friendship there. You get the, the little heart icons when you interact with them, but, like, don't really know what his deal is. I guess I avoid the Whomper? Looks like Lame Lake is still lame. Yeah, it never got any better. Didn't naturally become a, a more exciting lake, that's for sure. Stayed pretty boring in that time. I assume I just have to avoid these things, but actively they haven't really uh, done anything to me yet. So I'm just gonna just keep doing my thing, I guess. I'll try not to worry about it too much. Okay. Wait. I should double check, because now now I know it's a two for one. Ah, I, I was so close. I didn't realize I was so close to um, having what I needed. Lilith, you're getting a house. That'll be the last thing I do today, probably. Or if I'm real unlucky, it will spill over until the next day. Especially if I waste time doing things like collecting berries. It's not a waste of time. I really, really like berries. It's a perfect way to spend my my last remaining hours of the day here. I have enough planks, right? Right, magic. It means magic. Wait, but I... Oh, crap. I didn't mean to do that again. I am going to run out of time now. I forgot that it needed magic wood specifically. Well, I'll make all the fancy planks I can. Oh, I got a bonus. Oh, it did exactly. Does it take time to make a house? Because the last, the last thing I could do is I could squeeze in a house. Hopefully I don't lose time doing this, but I would love her to not spend another night sleeping on the grass. There you go, Lilith. Glad to be of service. Ooh, I did also want to, while I was at it, chuck my Elfwood wallpaper and my Aqua carpet, because I thought the two of those would look cool together. I like the Elfwood paper a lot. Bubsy15! <laughs> my farming is pretty slow going. I could probably uh, commit more effort to that, maybe. Maybe I wrap up the 14th here. Put in, put in two solid weeks. Cooking is at level 5. Get a plumberry. Great job. <laughs> oh, because I leveled up uh, Bubsy, I think. It's funny that there's no text written for that. Very precise interaction currently. Is that house over there for me? Ah, oh, cool. They We gave it a cool roof as well to match kind of like the mystical thing. My girl Lilith can finally sleep indoors. Let's have a look inside. Hopefully you like it. Oh, I should go look at Willow's desk. That Dalton guy just told me you're the hero of Solemn? Uh, I'm so glad to meet you. Actually, we met once before. You were passing through the Alexandrian Magical Academy, and you said I should follow my dreams? But it's hard following dreams. I don't know if I'm cut out to be a mage. Oh, you'll get there someday. Thanks for the compliment. Wow, wow, just don't sneak up behind me and scare me or anything like that. Sorry. Enjoy your home. 
I'm glad to have you joining the ranks of the uh, the homed citizens, the housed citizens of of low rule. <laughs> took some doing, took a while to get there, but it's looking up. I forgot to give you this yesterday. It's a hand-me-down blueprint from my great grandpa for a nightstand. Well, thanks. Maybe one day you'll have every blueprint in Solemn. Unless you keep inventing them, you keep churning out gems like nightstands, then who knows, but the sky is the limit. You can use dirt to place dirt roads around town when in build mode. I was wondering how you did that. I think they make low rule look pretty. I wasn't sure if it was like, uh, if it costs anything to do so. Also, if you place dirt roads in the bottom side of a cliff, you'll create stairs. Ah, uh, okay. Finally, thank you, Willow. Thank you for that inf information. There's a bright side to losing your memory, you know. You get to visit places for the first time again. I guess. I guess we could call that bright side. Dirt roads, what I need. And I'm going to work up some stairs. Beautiful. That's... Do you know what? I should, um... I should play around with that just a little bit more and, like... Ah, oh, you can't... Do it to the side, hey? I would love, I would love stairs to the side like this. Got hooked from playing Don't Escape 4. That was a great game. I was, I had so much fun with that. And then, like, exploring, doing kind of like the deep dive into it afterwards with, um, deep sleep and everything like that. Oh, that was dope. Oh, what's going on? Scream. I, sorry, I'm, I missed it first that that, uh, it came from someone new in the chat. Scream, how you doing? Welcome to the chat. <laughs> uh, it's going well. I'm very much enjoying this game. It's been fun so far. It's been real chill. How's that museum coming along, Lemon Butt? Oh, right. Uh, Ash still needs a house. Can't we just start displaying all our findings together? Yeah, I want to do that too. It sounds fun. Hey, I got so many neat ideas for my room. When you get a chance, could you build me a desk? Oh, so needy. Yes, Dalton, I'll build you a damn desk. As long as I have a piece of wood, I might not. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Sorry, bud. No desk, not today. Maybe someday. I'll uh, I'll keep an eye out for some trees to cut down. And if or when I find some of that, then maybe we can uh, talk a little bit talk a little bit more about this desk situation. <laughs> I I. Trees aren't like growing back. I cut down all the trees. I, I probably have to replant them myself If that's the case what what can I do with what I have I'm real low on like most Supplies I basically have to go out of town To get Anything I haven't looked at the journal. What's the journal for? Uh, I can see what level everyone's at. Just keep track of all the citizens. I, I found approximately half of the people. Here's where all my hobbies are at. 79 over out of 990. Holy crap. Every one of these could go up to, to like 99 or s roughly. Game completion 3%. Holy crap. I haven't done a single quest. Haven't made the museum at all. I've done some town wishes. Uh, events experienced. I don't know about that. Cards collected? Yeah, I, I don't know if I've really experienced uh, events. I can plant berries to make specifically the berry trees or the, uh, the like the slime apple trees and the different berries and things like that. To make just wood trees seems to be um, like it probably needs an acorn or something, something plain like that. So I think I'm going back out to the forest to go try and gather a bunch of that sort of random stuff. I figure I just talk to these characters to like improve our relationship. Wait a second. Do they count? Uh, I don't have like a measured... I kind of waste time talking to them. Well, they, they might share new information, but I've seemingly seen all the dialogue options that they have and it's not contributing to my overall social standing in the game or whatever so I think I'm not gonna spend more time worrying about that for now at least uh, good there's at least some ore out here but probably not enough that I'll be able to like build the next big thing 
I wonder what this what is up with the marketplace. Why is it so janky like that? It's such a random random glitch. Early access tends to do those things, you know? Leads to the world's weirdest glitches imaginable. Ah, uh, you can't you can't fish from two spaces away. I was trying to do that to land land the rod like right where I wanted it. I got time for one more. I'm gonna spend it on catching a bug. And I'm out of here. I would like I'd like to build the museum, I think. I'm a, I'm a ways away from doing so. Ah, I can't I can't go collect those berries. It's very easy to get roped into playing more of this game. Right when you think that you you're like ah, I've I've done enough. Here's a good place to set it down. I'll pick it up again another time. Yeah, but I'll just do like ten more things first. I always fall for that in these sorts of games. Oh, Lilith is just stoked to be a part of that the city, the town. Flirt. Oh, that's new. Want to know what my perfect day looks like? Drink a cup of coffee, go for a jog, chop some wood, then study blueprints. Having a daily routine keeps my mind fresh and focused. I'd love to hear about your daily routine, too. You better believe I'm building that coffee shop before everything else now. I really enjoy spending time with you, Lemon Butt. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I, I don't know if I should if I should pursue a different character. I don't know if like Willow is the most obvious first choice for like a romance or whatever, and if that makes it kind of less interesting. I I will consider potentially dating other other character like Bubsy or something, you know. In the meantime, uh, she will be my main my main pursuit I guess uh, I don't think I'm gonna have enough ore I wanted to go travel and go take her on a wood cutting adventure she was gonna love it we were gonna drink coffee and cut wood together it was gonna be great uh, I also still need to yeah I, I won't I won't have enough for the coffee shop or the museum I think I'm still gonna prioritize the museum the coffee shop could wait I have so much I want to do <laughs> People always compliment me on my purple scarf. It's fuchsia, not purple. <laughs> I'm gonna be so particular. But if you're gonna put that much time into into crafting a, a look for yourself, damn right you better be particular. People better respect the effort that you put in. Acknowledge, acknowledge the work it took to pull off that intricate dynamic. Hey, if you ever wanted to get to know you more, but let's talk. Help me rebuild, give me a home, <laughs> gather building materials. We could also hang out. I could take you on a date, huh? I said we could hang out more and that, <laughs> Lord, why are you repeating yourself so much? Yeah, let's do it. Oh, okay, I didn't even, I hadn't even talked to him to gain his house yet. I'm pretty handy. If anything ever breaks, just let me know. I've built a chair before. <laughs> That's a huge claim to fame there. I try not to, I'll try not to destroy with my magic. Just don't sneak up behind me or scare me or anything like that. I do want to go to Willow's house still, because I want to see uh, what is in her desk. I want Elfwood paper. Sick. I already have it. I want my house to be within 16 spaces of Lemon Butt's house. Uh, I did that. I, uh, Elf, Elfwood, right? Okay. I did it. Complete, complete. Okay, I, I had to I had to check off one of them to make the other ones. I want a dainty table. I want a bookshelf. Now you ask for too much. These are too many things. But I like this. I, I like this uh, feeling of questing, kind of. It's kind of what it feels like to, to, I don't know. There's just so many individual ways to like satisfy specific characters and things like that. There's just so much going on. Is he buying new blueprints or not? Uh, I have not bought too many. I bought, a, I bought a handful. Ones that I thought specifically looked interesting. Now I've had a few requests coming from specific characters, so I, I think I, I'm working to invest a little bit more. Didn't they say you get a free item daily in the coffee shop? Uh, oh, I thought he meant I just got a free coffee daily. Dust. I can harvest dust? What is that even for? What good is that? It just occurred to me that I hadn't tried mining that particular thing before. I have no idea what good dust would be for. 
for, or for, for building a dirt road or anything like that? I don't even... Probably not even? Hmm. Is it in mis... Yeah, it shows up in miscellaneous. So yeah, I, I, I don't know what it's for at all. I should probably... I could invest in more um, blueprints now that characters are specifically starting to ask for more of that sort of stuff. I thought he was just going to give me a free coffee. If that is if that is legit what he's offering, that's a pretty sweet deal. Ah, uh, carrots to harvest. I guess I'm putting I'm putting off the carrots for now. I'm not immediately doing the carrots because I got things to do. I want the museum. The part of my brain that in real life is really into that sort of stuff has has this itch that needs to be scratched. And building a museum seems like a good way, good way to satisfy that. Sorry, Ash, you're you're gonna be homeless just like numerous other characters have been throughout the history of of this town and and managing managing things. I think I'm gonna slot it right in. Oh, you damn weed! All right, well I can build it there, and I can rip that up. And then immediately move it. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> so complicated. Uh, Laura is gonna come hit us up. I was talking to Willow this morning, and she said you're the hero of Solomon. Everyone's slowly learning my my sweet status in town. Don't you think you should have told me something that important? Wow, this museum looks great, by the way. The Smithsonian. The Buttsonian. Name it after myself. Okay then, hero, it's time for your next big quest. Donating one of every item that exists in Solom to our museum. Together we can build Solom's greatest treasure trove of information. Oh, she's all stoked about that. Supreme Wizard can be donated here. This is a very rare item. Is is that a thing I have? Do I have Supreme Wizard? It looks like only the West Wing is open right now. Oh, if we upgrade the museum, maybe we could showcase... Oh, okay, so she's standing, I think... Yeah, yeah, these are these are super rare things that I don't have. Gotcha. Start the upgrade process. Uh, 118 total items that could be donated. I need to upgrade before I can do anything with that. Those I can't interact with. The different berries. Oh, nice. It highlights for me the ones that I have to donate. Fruit room out of 10. This is very organized. I appreciate the organization of it all. <laughs> I'm sorry, Willow. I'm not trying to ditch you like that. The game kind of seems to bug out a little bit when I when I run around like that. One of every like ore type, and then this is probably like the refined versions. Just trying to check off as many museum boxes as I as I can, because if I contribute these, then I don't have to ever again like worry about holding on to one one of each. So I already know. Hopefully, hopefully, when I look at my items, uh, there's no handy way to know whether or not I, there's one in the museum already. That is like my number one game suggestion as of right this second, is that there would be a little star or something directly to the left of Magic Wood and Golden Wood next to the name there. Anything, anything at all indicating that you have already put one into the museum. I think that would be cool. That would be a, an a very useful way of, of tracking that sort of thing. Uh, I should try and catch some nighttime bugs. I don't think I've done much bug catching at night. Same. Same old. Didn't result in anything particularly new. Oh, um, I'm gonna go collect as many carrots as it will let me. Before, before I run totally out of time. Do you have a uh, Discord? I do. I don't have the link directly on me right this second. I, in like all of our videos, there's a link to it. I, you know what, I could spend, I could spend the, the half a second here and plop out, plop out a Discord link for you. Uh, it'll take me just a, a second to find. 
or a different colored border around the item, that would be a good way, another good way to track whether or not it has uh, existed as a museum contribution. I like that. I think that's good thinking. Uh, the Discord could use some extra life in it. <laughs> it's uh, something I haven't figured out exactly how to maintain. Maintain. But there you go. If the interest is there, feel free. Feel free to pop by. We'd love to love to have you over there. I guess I guess I just gotta tuck into bed since I managed to use up the whole day there. Oh, getting to be such a high level with Willow specifically there. Tuesday. It'll be it'll be a new new slew of stuff in the shop. Level ten of mining. Here's a plain brick. I crafted my first wooden plank. How many of you crafted? Ha! You've gotten. You've donated 10 items, great job. I want to do what I can, I want it to be a good museum. Waga shaga, give me some stone. What kind of stuff we got here? The dresser, I got I got money, I could buy a few things. Cobalt table, maybe. Aqua lamp, that sounds cool as hell. Kind of like a lava lamp. And the table, I might as well, I might as well burn, uh, buy these new things for when it comes along that characters start requesting them. I missed my opportunity with the dainty table. Uh, Willow very specifically had like requested that in her place, and I already cannot cannot do it. I'll have to wait now for the next time that that like comes along, and I'm 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 not sure how often, how much I can bank on things like repeatedly returning. To shops, you know. Wow, dust doesn't sell for much. What a relatively useless thing overall. I think... Thanks. Thanks for joining the Discord stream. I'll, I'll see you there later on. I think I am going to save and set it down, though. That was a, a longer stretch than I was planning. I thought I was only going to go for, like, two hours tops. I better, I better kind of, like, pack it in here. I got to, like, work in the morning and everything. New content um, update next Friday. Maybe not this one, since the game just came out on, like, Monday or Tuesday. It might mean the following Friday. It's not a finished game, but currently under development. You may experience game-breaking bugs. Nothing game-breaking. The weird marketplace thing was confusing. Every week, new content will be added. Thanks for playing my game, and I hope it makes you happy. It's great, man. Follow me for upcoming content. Sean Young. He's, he's all over Twitter, apparently there's a Discord specifically for this game, specifically, which would be a good thing to follow up on because that would be a fantastic way to uh, go in. Like, I, I might join that and I might be like, hey, I have an idea for tracking things in the museum. Probably There's probably a suggestion section or whatever. Hey, thanks for hanging out, guys. Good having you, good having you, everyone. I appreciate, appreciate it a lot. It was, uh, it was good to squeeze in, squeeze in a stream. I haven't done one. I did that Reventure one. That was pretty short. It felt good. It felt good to do again. Hopefully I can squeeze in a few more in the next while. Probably not anymore this week. I'm, I'm away for the weekend and everything. Uh, but yeah, maybe I can, maybe I can make like Streaming Tuesdays a thing or something. I don't know. <laughs> I won't bank on that. Hey, thanks for hanging out, Philip. It's great having everyone. Excited! I'm excited for this game and the potential here and everything. Might have to might have to stream more of this one in the future and see what else it has to offer. It's it's like too big of a game to do episodes on, so doing stream chunks might be the way to go anyways. Alright, have a good night guys, good morning, good day, what have you. <laughs> I'll see you again soon.